We are drinking alien juice. Alien urine. Urine. Yeah. Urine. Same thing. Same thing. It's quite strong. I rehearsed this, this it's quite 10 strong. times. Is this going to be healthy for me? No. Oh. Anything that looks like this is not yeah, going to be healthy. It's definitely not. <laughs> you did okay there, bud? You should try to do this in one bite. She's tough. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat the, the rind. What? What? You can eat it. Oh, okay. Do it. Yeah, don't, you can, yeah. don't stab your throat, though. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't on the video. Nobody said to eat the stick. Um, yeah, it's quite strong. It's, uh, Maduri, it's, uh, Clement rum and Bacardi silver rum. Yeah. Equal parts garnished with a lime and a maraschino cherry. And like all of our drinks, you can catch them all documented explicitly on our Instagram where you can pause, go make it for yourself. Again, Miles and I try to have approachable drinks that you can just Go to your local liquor store, grab all the ingredients you need. Nothing fancy, nothing that's fermenting in a back, the back of some guy's, you know, hipsters bartender's car for a mm -hmm. month, and then calling it. It looks like a it, fancy drink and charging twenty six dollars for it. You probably could charge twenty six dollars for this. Yeah, I feel like you could charge twenty six dollars for this at a bar. It's like Bud <clears throat> Ash, especially like in like Vegas or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's on our Instagram though. So if you want to drink this, this is the coolest looking drink I've ever seen. Right, it's pretty cool. It's urine. green. It's it does something. look like alien urine. If yeah, I when I when I first saw him, I was like, "Holy shit, dude!" I feel like this is something you would get at Area Fifteen or whatever the hell it's called at in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, dude. The more you drink it, the easier it goes down. Right. It does. Because that first time I did, yeah. yeah, she was rough. Yeah, she was rough. <laughs> yeah, it's like drinking straight whiskey. You Sometimes dip you know? your stick in. Nah, I'm, I'm. I can never have problems with whiskey. Oh, look at you. You never remember. Yeah, oh, I'm, he's I'm what you call yeah. an aficionado. Yeah? Uh, no, actually, hyper, I struggle with hyper whiskeys. They're, they're, they're pretty hard. I don't. Yeah. What just happened? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Spicy. it picked you, dude. It picked you. Um, All right, the podcast has now started. Yeah. Bar -bar -bar. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Um, don't forget to check out our OnlyFans account. Yeah. Well, when did Miles, why do you keep directing people to OnlyFans when it's not even... Yeah, I was going to say, yet? how are you going to do this Guys, to me, bro? we need to start a petition. Miles is planning for the future. Yeah. Yeah, planning for the future. We need to start a petition that OnlyFans... This is the problem with OnlyFans, right? So... In order to make an OnlyFans account, you have to show them the ID of every person that will be on the OnlyFans account. Right? And their tits. You have to have a photo ID and a picture of their tits. Yeah. You only have one tit. Yeah, what if you got a single you tit? You can't sign up. That's nope. the problem. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It's not inclusive in that kind if of If you way. have three, same hey, thing. Wow. Yeah. So I can't get the ID of every person who's been on the podcast, and they won't let me sign up for an account. That's bullshit. Yeah. I sent them my ID. Yeah, really. And they, they keep like, denying me. Well, it's because you're not hot enough. Probably. There's a limit. Yeah, it could be the beard, dude. They have to, they have to <laughs> weed out the, you know. I will send them a picture of my The penis. naughty hotties. That's what I call them. Maybe they just don't want to see your tits. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> naughty hotties, dog. Unlikely. Unlikely. <laughs> um, so what do we want to talk about today, boys? Um, I heard well, we got some conspiracy theories. I, I did think that... You know, maybe hit some conspiracy theories would be pretty cool. What do we want to start with? Here's an easy one. The moon landing. The moon landing. Uh, did it happen? I I do believe that it did. Um, mostly because you, you can, with a telescope, see the... You can't see the flag. Not the flag, dumbass. I didn't even say that. The, um, you can actually... <laughs> he was going to say it. No, you he can see... So, no, no, no. You can see the landing sites with a strong enough telescope. Can you? I believe so. Have you seen it? I've seen... I've never seen it. The images. He's seen pictures that other people have okay. posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of them I mean, it's it. probably pretty pixelated. I mean, it is a good question. Like, yeah. think about this. If we have the technology we have today, why is it that we haven't seen the satellite shots of the stuff on the moon? Guys, we shot down a hobby weather balloon no, the other day. No, 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 no. We're not getting into that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting into the weather. We definitely didn't go to the moon. <laughs> Yeah, we're not getting into the weather balloon. <laughs> Dude, those weather balloons are the closest we've ever been. The weather the balloon. Yeah. That's the closest we've been to the moon. That's the closest the we've ever been. They got up there and they were like, shit, this is I don't high. Know about the weather balloon. Dude, there were, there's some pretty good photos of the weather balloon. No, it's better than the moon. So. The, um, 
What about what about this one? This one's an easy one. Yeah. Um, because we're not gonna solve any of these, yeah. but uh, there's like conspiracies where a lot of people, the majority, believes one side. Then there's like conspiracies where like it's kind of divided. Yeah. There's like a kind of like a fluidity yeah. of like who thinks what. You know, here's one where I feel like a majority of people agree, which is. That Epstein did not kill himself. Yeah, I think that that man uh, definitely know, he, did not commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. I He's think got, Zach was friends with him, so let's be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach, how many times did you ride on that private jet? <laughs> oh, uh, didn't they actually release a bunch of the names recently? The manifest. Yeah. What? Is Zach muted? Yeah. No, because he's Logan Mike. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just Thanks for sure. calling that out. I have a better conspiracy theory What's that? that's actively and ongoing. Okay. And it has to do with Disney. Okay. Explain yourself. And the Disney yeah. theory is yeah. that Walt Disney, uh-huh. what do you call it, cryptogenics? Where yeah, he froze from? his head. But. Yeah, didn't he do, actually so, do that? Okay, so here we're getting into the theory, right? So the Might theory, look this up. The, the theory is that he froze himself through cryptogenics cryogenics my bad and then and then through cryogenics and then people started googling it trying to figure out whether he actually did or not so what they did is they released the movie frozen so that when people googled disney regarding freezing Uh it would then push the searches towards frozen and it would totally go off topic from walt Mm. disney freezing himself that, that's that that's a that's a that's one that's and one it of this all to get the, the Google theories. algorithm yeah to switch over why would they want to conceal the fact that his his head is frozen yeah I feel like what's the negative yeah. to I, that I'm not sure why they want to hide and cover that up but the idea is yeah. did he really freeze himself miles so <clears throat> I actually found an article about your conspiracy. This is a real thing. Yeah, it is a real thing. <laughs> it's a real conspiracy. Yeah, I, I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually right because if you Google Many Walt Disney and Frozen, then the word head comes up next, and then brain, and then two, <laughs> Frozen two. Uh, it didn't work because if I search that into Google, it still recommends like Frozen body. Mm. So maybe because the conspiracy after the fact has become more popular than the idea of frozen itself yeah i think that or at least how google ranks it you know it was the trick the algorithm so according to this article him being cryogenically frozen is a legend and it's really weird to me that we don't know why like it if it's true right yeah it, yeah, but isn't isn't that a part of like some of the allure to Disney? Is there's like a lot of like conspiracy, not conspiracy, but like secrets and stuff. And, like, yeah, I feel like that's a good point. Like the whole idea of Walt Disney, I think, is a legend of itself, right? <clears throat> like a lot of people think of this like charismatic guy who would walk down the street holding hands with Mickey and like you know saying hi to all the kids. But like, what a lot of people didn't know is like Walt Disney was actually like a brutal businessman. I um, mean, he, he kind of have to, right, to have the empire that he built. But he would often like Steve, you know, in a very Steve Jobs fashion. Just like if he thought your idea wasn't good, he'd let you know, and he'd let you know in front of everybody. Damn. And like, not in a nice way. Oh, Damn. <laughs> you get not nice. <laughs> and then when he thought your idea was good, he'd just be like, "I think that'll work." Okay, wait. <laughs> like that, that's interesting though, because I feel like. That's such a. I feel like like successful like business people are like romanticized as being like this like super open to. All. I feel like in, in like today's you know day and age, you you do have to be like really ruthless with like ideas if you're creating your own business and like really trying to like evolve. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel like if you were just super accepting of everything and it wasn't to your vision that you know you want, then like I, I feel like maybe you know it would turn out way different. Maybe. Is anyone like that? Give us an example. I feel like Elon Musk is probably... He's ruthless as hell. Pretty ruthless with ideas. Yeah, he's ruthless. But you were saying that people should could be the other way. Not um, oh, oh, you're saying like, like, like the opposite of ruthless. Yeah. Examples. Um, 
not any big names and that's kind of like my point yeah i guess that it, I think. it doesn't work right yeah i feel like it, if you're nice then maybe it just doesn't work out i think there's depends a lot of how, nice people yeah i guess it depends on how good your idea is yeah, there's like relatively relativity right is like if you're have a really good idea it shouldn't take much work at all to market it yeah. and like capitalize on it but if your idea is uh has lots of competition like elon mm -hmm. and tesla right yeah getting into the car business super competitive yeah. almost impossible yeah, yeah. so you have to have this like ruthless mentality that's in order to yeah, succeed that's and like survive um but if you had a really good idea with no competition it doesn't really take much work that's at all to yeah. bring it to market like um for instance, the guy that made the 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 rotato, which is the machine that that peels and uh, slices potatoes into spirals. He's probably the most ruthless of all. Are, are any of us gonna question why he knew that? That's a weird. thing. Yeah. Right? Why? What? What's happening there? Why did, Ro rotato. No, Chase. Why, why didn't he know that? Yeah. Was why did, the why did you know that? Oh. The rotato. Everybody has one. Everybody loves it. Everybody goes to target and buys one as soon as they hear it from a friend do you, I feel Miles, like do you, you recently <laughs> you recently researched rotatoes for something can we peel up can we pull up the rotato for everybody to see in the, are on you the putting screen? rotatoes into there i may have stock in rotato but <laughs> I, I, I may i may be trying to pump up rotato i knew it who knows guys oh, no, dude. it's news to me i always thought that disney was frozen i always thought that that was a fact that, that everyone knew that right what that's a fact that he was frozen he was oh cryogenic. uh i actually also thought that that was a fact too yeah apparently it's questionable it's actually not even true yeah says who? I, I mean although this is why we the like people that are being accused of freezing <laughs> Do you think they, they maybe at least story. like preserved his brain to so, study you know like like with einstein according to someone related to disney they had contacted a firm a cryogenic firm that hadn't even frozen anyone at that time mm -hmm. uh who was in that field like trying to figure that out at some point and this is where the rumor started they never mm -hmm. actually ended up freezing him oh okay gotcha. he was cremated okay so let me ask you this then how does somebody like abraham lincoln end up looking the same when they actually uncovered his body and oh my god this is another like, conspiracy. well maybe they it's a true thing they embalmed them em embalming yeah so if you go to the I vatican for instance there's other places like this too but if you go to the vatican you can actually find uh not fine but you, you'll actually see popes there that's right from yeah. hundreds of years ago they embalmed? yeah yeah, they're, they're preserved. Like sealed in like a container. Like their body's preserved like and sealed. they do look dead. Like they kind of look like uh, clay or something, but they're they're there. Like yeah. all their their skin and everything. That's weird. It's crazy. That's, That's weird. That That's crazy. like I don't That's know if, if you guys remember like in the Indiana Jones movie where it's like the king I think it's King of the Crystal Skull, when they're on the cemetery and they cut open like the crusader you know like mummy wrappings and it looks like the skin is like fresh and then it just completely deteriorates it's like first off worst indiana jones movie to reference i can't believe okay, you would actually but give, bring that okay, one up on the but, on the podcast okay, I, I mean but it was the what example it's the example the example of, of about, like the about, preservation Oh, okay. I, I give me a better one give me a better one bro I'm, I, I didn't say i had an example oh, now terrible. are you gonna criticize me I use the Abraham why Lincoln. why are they putting popes on display like that okay yeah that's a that's a good question I, I i i agree with that well let's be honest here if you gave a bunch of money to the church you would feel kind of some kind of ownership of it right no i just think that's super creepy so you'd be like i want to see the pope that i've been supporting <laughs> all these years <laughs> like hey uh listen uh popey when you die we're, we're just gonna like put your body on display f like an amusement park uh, uh ride yeah. or uh, a, a museum how do you feel about that how do you feel about also like if you're the pope this is also why i think demons aren't real yeah is because if demons were real and they can possess bodies the only way to avoid that is to is to cremate your body when you die. Yeah. And so these popes are just, if they oh, really did believe okay, in demons, true, they would true. be like, no, dog, don't cremate or don't uh, preserve my body. Yeah. Cremate it. Well, 
Okay, that's, that's interesting. So you're saying like, so you don't think exorcisms are real? I'm not saying they're not real. Okay. Well, that's. I feel like it's an interesting topic. Well, exorcisms uh, may just be a, a mental, mentally ill people. Yeah, and they're just treating it like with a with a everything is the same mentality. Like, like uh, oh, you're generating these these general symptoms. Let's exercise you. Yeah, and I think I think the 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 church uh, like will um, talk about it, or there's like a mysterious nature to it because they want to basically. Uh, I don't know. Make people believe in it. Yeah. Cause I, cause the, I feel like one of the big, <clears throat> the big talking points of like exorcisms is like supernatural strength, right? Um, but I feel like if there are like people trying to hold you down and it like you're kind of mentally ill and you're like you're like you're trying to kill me, I feel like mm-hmm. you're gonna exhibit. Uh, what's up? What are you doing there, buddy? I was just. I feel like I feel like you're gonna exhibit Garnish. what seems like superhuman strength to try because you're, you're you're fearing for your life because mm-hmm. like that's like with like my dog like if I'm playing with her she doesn't think it's that big of a deal but if she gets like genuinely spooked or something then she she can like kick my ass yeah because she thinks that there's something wrong well yeah it's like the the cases of uh, a woman lifting a car to save her baby yeah yeah wonder if that's actually true I mean flight flight. Fight flight response is really pretty extreme. Yeah. yeah, adrenaline. So if you're possessed, so yeah. Miles looks like he's experiencing that. Most right things are, are explainable. You know? And you actually, you know, the, the more I kind of think about it, the more it makes sense. Like you, you see, like these pictures of the people who were were they're trying to do exorcism on, and they progressively get worse. Well, it's like if you continually like treat them a certain way and like act like they're being possessed, and like you're not addressing their mental illness, then that kind of makes sense that they would continually start also, to these look people, worse. These people aren't drinking or eating. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So, you know, they might. Did we just, did we just look. solve? Did we just solve? Yep. Possession? We just canceled Catholicism. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? I don't know, dude. And what, you've been, you've been looking up conspiracy theories. What'd you come Yo, with? Yo, I'm going to, f- how about this? Okay. Who thinks that the government is hiding a bunch of secret information behind Mount Rushmore? No. How about in the middle of Nevada, where they we know they're hiding? Wait, where does this even come from? <laughs> why would they be hiding it there? Theory, yeah, why, why? You can look it up. He's why? like, what are you talking okay, okay, about? Okay, okay, no, let, let him explain. Being, let him explain. Bringing up Go some ahead. richy, rich bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just look it up. Miles will explain. Okay, okay, cool. Know. Well, I mean, but it's your topic, so like, like, why? What? What made you think? I'm just that... aware of the situation. I didn't say I was, <laughs> I didn't say I was like, I didn't say I was intelligent. Do you? Would do? You, is this a? Is this something that you believe in? Ah, uh, it's a thought. Yeah, it could be a real thing. Did Miles? Did you find it? Yeah, apparently there's a secret room behind oh. Mount Rushmore. Whoa. Well, obviously. Oh, well, obviously you obviously. act like you've been there. Yeah, dude, I totally I called there. it. There's a secret room, Miles. Oh, we should we put this up on the? Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Shoot, there it is. Whoa. That's <laughs> the secret room. I can't see anything. Right there. Is that just photoshopped in there? Dude, it might be. Could be. I feel like it kind of it kind of looks like it you, might be like the, those heads are pretty secret? big. So like <laughs> the secret room behind Mar- Mount Rushmore. Is this a conspiracy? I mean, is this like a legitimate article? You guys are learning. Oh, dude, and and <laughs> Ann Lincoln's eyeballs. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit, dude! They're cannons. They shoot cannonballs. Shut up! They're not cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they shoot cannons? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Is oh, a secret cave? maybe they were shooting them at the Native Americans. That's where they're keeping Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> somebody, somebody, keeping somebody. Yo, do you do you think uh, when when Gile Maxwell goes to prison, she's gonna commit suicide too? Uh, isn't she already in prison? Uh, I don't know if she's received final sentencing or not. If she has, then it's only a matter of time. Uh, Guys, I'm not actually gonna do this. Uh huh. But I'm gonna fly a drone over Mount Rushmore uh-huh. to find out if it's yeah. true. Mm, I wonder how many people have done that. In an attempt to discover what's behind that secret door. Yeah, like secret drone flying. What if we just hike at night? Um, you can't hike Mount Rushmore, can you? No, they. It's, it's at night, dude. You know. Well, I get. I don't know. Maybe they have <laughs> sensors. <laughs> I mean, can definitely. you physically get up there? You probably have to do some rock climbing. No, 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 no. no, no. Probably I'd be some like not. Alex Hornell. Probably, yeah. probably be Jerry. Would, would, Alex, what? Is his name Hornell? What's his name? Honold. Honold, yeah, yeah. Can't Hornell, believe you got that wrong. Henry, Helensky. He's a cook. It's all the same. So, yeah. So what's the next one? 
Well, there was back in Prohibition. So we proved that one, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So that's proven. Okay. Secret stuff behind Mount yeah, Rushmore. Yeah. So we think there might be? Yeah, we think there might be. There's probably a good chance. Yeah. We Googled it. We found some pictures. All right. Yeah. So then how about, we're, since we're enjoying, what are we drinking? UFO piss. Alien piss. So while we're on that topic. Okay. Ooh. Aliens. Yeah. On drinking. Uh -huh. Oh. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So we're going back to Prohibition days. Oh, we're going mm. to Aliens. Damn. So this conspiracy theory is that the government actually poisoned alcohol back then. Do mm. we think this is a true? Do you think maybe conspiracy? things were just so unsanitary that it was just poisoned on its own? Why? Why would we think that it was poisoned because it was killing people? It was like it was that to help keep people, people from drinking. Oh, okay, I see. Well, yeah, but what about all the bootleg stuff? You know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like that was the majority of the alcohol that was consumed. <clears throat> so they did actually do that. Oh, oh. oh. so not a conspiracy. In 1926, the federal government, in an effort to enforce the Noble Experiment, mandated adding poison. 1926 was that prohibition? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh, so okay. is that is that actually considered a conspiracy theory then? It if was. It's, a, if it's they like, mandated adding poisons, including methanol, to industrial oh alcohol so that people wouldn't drink it. Jesus. <laughs> So it's I feel like, like that's not really a conspiracy. That's like though. the fentanyl crisis that's right now. So just start injecting fentanyl and things. Yeah. <laughs> like meat, you know? Like, oh, fuck meat. Oh, yeah. Fentanyl. Um, the PETA people just start Should, should we go? Oh, there was the real bad so, booze days. Huh? Should we talk about yeah. one of the OG conspiracy theories of the JFK assassination? Mm. Too complicated. That's yeah. Too complicated. I feel like, okay, you're right. That's a good point. This one's easy. That one, hmm. Yeah. Again, okay, so research. all right, so too 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 broad of a of a scope. Mm. So far, all these have been true. Yeah, uh, but does is that does that make it a conspiracy theory though? If it's if it's easily proven true, I feel like with a conspiracy theory, it's like there is like yeah, it makes it a conspiracy theory. Like it's not, makes it a it's a conspiracy, conspiracy theory fact. that the Earth is round, right, guys? Yeah. Um, because Zach believes it that we know it's flat. flat. Like we can prove that I mean, it's flat. I think you could. I think you could prove anything if you tried it. Wait, but they actually proved on the flat Earther documentary that it's that it's round. Yeah, but you said that the wrong time. <laughs> All right. He so, said he said you believe the Earth is flat. I didn't say that. You said that. No, he said I that. I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> you said that. This is a conspiracy. You, what, you theory. guys want to go on to a new conspiracy, conspiracy theory? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Miles, what what's the next one? No, oh, you're the next uh, one. Oh, okay. So, so we're we're gonna get into LSD. LSD, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, good one. Yeah, yeah. So, who here thinks that the government, CIA, CIA Whatever, yeah. was actually experimenting with LSD for mind control situations? Oh, dude. Yeah, they yeah, actually I've heard were. that. I, okay, but yeah. maybe not necessarily, but but for mind control, or is it yeah. just like to see effects? No, mind control. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, there's there's um, uh, there's documents declassified documents proving that yeah. they actually did this and there's 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 proof in the book um by uh fuck what's his name I, uh what's the book on uh, uh the manson killings mm -hmm. uh ca the chaos the not, not chaos theory i was uh yeah, google yeah. google book on uh manson by tom what's it called Chaos. Chaos. Okay, so it's called chaos. And basically in this book, he talks about um, there's actual evidence that shows that the CIA uh, would, was giving LSD to uh, Manson. Yeah. And every time Manson would get arrested and put in jail, they would come and bail him out. Yeah. And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of evidence and blame uh on on that uh and that front oh, when it comes to ci um operation north is it northwood no midnight midnight something about operation midnight so during the cold war the cia thought that the communists had a drug that could control people's minds oh. and so they started researching their own drug and the program was called MK Ultra. MK Ultra. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah. This was in the 1950s and 60s, and it was they like had chemists and shit mm -hmm. researching this, and yeah, they they uh, were doing things like 
torturing people, uh, giving them high doses of LSD because they thought that they could control people's minds by doing all these things to them. Yeah. So what do you think they found out that made them outlaw LSD? Like, do you think it was like, oh my God, it cures, it cures sadness. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really um, sure on when LSD was introduced into the scheduling of drugs, but I, I got to imagine a lot of that happened yeah. in the 80s. Yeah. So They also said that they don't know how many people died from their experiments, but they know people died from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. High doses. There's, they, they, would all, they would often, too, to, to shut people up. Um, like there's a whole conspiracy about the guy that was acting with uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay. That he, while in jail, was given a high dose of LSD, and he ended up going mad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Um, so the idea was like, it, so the guy who was researching it, he said there is two steps to it. First is you have to get rid of, like literally get rid of the existing mind of someone. So you wipe out their existing yeah. brain, their memory, and then you imp implant a new one. So you mm -hmm. just like micro dose them to shit. Yeah. No, you max m macro dose them. Or, or, yeah, that's, dose, that's, that's yeah. what I meant. Like, in, like, yeah, as much as you can without being lethal yeah. type of stuff. And I heard that stuff will, like you will uh, for years just be uh, a zombie. Like there's this guy, he was, he had a video going around for a while on Reddit and he was said he was at a music festival and he accidentally uh, through one form or another took like 40 doses of LSD in one, one go on accident. He said for the next five years, he saw in black and white and like a static TV and had no emotions, couldn't interact with it people. Just disconnects. Yeah. He, he basically insane. just like scrambled his brain basically. That's fucking yeah. crazy. He, he's now like five years later able to like talk about it. Yeah. But he says he's still, he's still really messed up from it. Like he still sees in black and white and, like so what happens when you do drugs? I don't, don't feel do, bad for him. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, don't. Well, don't do the bad drugs. So we what, proved what are the bad drugs. We proved the LSD theory. All right, so that it's one's true. Proven. I think that one's true. Yeah. yeah. So probably. So wait, all a conspiracy. The the de the definition of a conspiracy is just a a a thing that people conspire to do, and a yeah. theory is just like us guessing or. Yeah. Uh, yeah that without any factual proof that they did it right yeah it's an attempt to explain harmful or tragic events as the result of actions of a small powerful group there you go okay. that's a that's the that's the the smart version of what i just gave you so the the explanations that people come up with reject the accepted narrative oh yeah, yeah that's true yeah exactly so like the accepted narrative how jfk uh died was the assassination right mm -hmm. but yeah people there's a conspiracy but like multiple conspiracies about how it actually happened hmm. so so is it has it been okay so i guess like to to not transition to like a new topic but pretty much like so the war on drugs right has it been proven that that is like basically directly the government's fault it's a I conspiracy mean, theory. That, that's more of a, a conspiracy theory well, like, it's no hard it's not, it's not conspiracy theory because our understanding of it doesn't go against the narrative like oh i i see the narrative is like oh the government well there there are there are a few conspiracy theories right surrounding it but i think uh i think yeah so like one of the conspiracy theories is like the scheduling and and the crackdown on like crack cocaine mm -hmm. versus regular cocaine mm -hmm. like f for some reason crack cocaine had a harsher sentencing if you were to be caught with it, um, then regular cocaine, and there's really no difference. The difference was that crack cocaine was more popular in, in affluent black communities. Okay. And so, um, yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of put those, those two things together and why they did that. Um, so that would be a conspiracy theory because the government wouldn't come out and tell you, yeah. Hey, yeah, we actually did that. Um, yeah, because they have of that an excuse, reason. right? Yes. The accepted yeah. narrative would be, like whatever their excuse to is. make cool. to make America a more productive and yeah. safer society. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so some other other in like more, I guess more recently relevant ones that I've seen on like social media are like 
when people when when like excuse me and an, an individual like comes up with an idea and they like put it forth like an engine that runs on like water like h2o right that can separate and combust and stuff like that um and then they just like disappear right they were like hey guys check out what i did like here's the work behind it here's like how it works and and i, I proved it on this small scale and then like and they're interacting with people and then nothing they're gone and everyone's like yo did did this kid just get like okay. shut up you know what i mean i don't have any examples of this i don't never heard of this happening before because that that the one about an engine okay. running on on water is, is an actual do you know the scene. person's name i don't i don't but do if you, you look if, it's if you look up you know do you have some examples of it i know it was on i know for sure it was on tiktok because i saw that it was relevant on there because i think that he had shared it he or she had shared it on there um and then there's like there's this one person an engine running on water yeah mm-hmm I've heard I've heard this one before. Yeah, or like someone who so so when there okay so this one's really cool about like nuclear power right so there's nuclear fission and there's nuclear fusion and like and there's you know pros and cons to one but one is considerably more stable than the other I, I can't remember if it's fission or fusion um, and uh, there's like the, you know theories that there are people who have been able to like come up with stable versions of right this this untapped nuclear power but um they they disappear and it's actually interesting and i think the reason they do disappear and it's maybe i guess a little more valid but um i believe if you write an academic paper on like certain topics the government kind of approaches you and they're like hey like this you're you're kind of you're kind of encroaching on like the classified area of how things work Hmm. yeah it's like um Bob Lazar, do you guys know the story oh, of Bob yeah. Lazar? Definitely. You know, trying to conceal hidden secrets. Yeah. Element 115, right? Yeah. Um, so the guy, by the way, who created the engine that runs on water was Stanley Meyer. Okay. And he had a mysterious death in 1998 while he was having lunch at Cracker Barrel. He was with his place. brother and two potential investors, and the four clinked gl- glasses to toast, and then he clutched his throat and died. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty mysterious. I feel like a little bit. Yeah, like like I feel like oil tycoons are like. So he didn't just disappear though. Oh, okay, okay. That makes so sense. somebody just murdered him. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, someone. Always I feel like that's that's pretty spooky. Like I I definitely. I feel like the powers that be of the world are, are gonna hundred percent protect their greed, no matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. What's another one, Zach? There's always the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, yeah, dude. It's always one that we always come back to. Do we think it's just a, a magnetic anomaly, or is it like? So it's a yeah. So the, it's an it's a fact that a lot of shipwrecks and whatnot happen in this area. Yeah. Right, Why? like more than other places. So that's the fact, right? That's the that's the accepted narrative. Yeah, that's the statistics. But is it like is it just a popular shipping lane? Is that the issue? Because I know, like, I we've we've been on cruises that go through the Bermuda Triangle. I've never had a problem. Have you? Yeah. Have you? That go through it? They, they're like go through a part, like a like a part of like one of the the, the little the, the little tip. Not through the middle, I don't think. But I I remember looking it up, and being like, holy shit, I guess kind of crazy. Hope I don't die. Here's wow, it goes all the way to Miami. Miami? Holy shit, it's like the yeah. all of Bahamas. We've yeah. All, hey, we've all yeah, can, yeah, 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 we've like, all been you're there. Like, you're like that's strangely convenient how it's like the whole like it's like the size of the Gulf of Mexico, and they're like, yeah, this world like all these. Shit I've like literally that. almost died before. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have known, I would have not gone on that boat. That's crazy. I didn't actually. I didn't, I knew it was pretty large. I didn't realize it. like that's that's huge. Like I feel like yeah, that's, that's fucking common sense. That, that a lot of issues so, probably happen there. Do people stay out of that? I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's just yeah, like it it is what it is. Like maybe the middle. Maybe now, it's what like, okay, what about the plane wrecks though? Because I feel like like shipwrecks, oh okay, so maybe so it's a big shipping lane, so like it makes sense that, that it yeah, accidents are more prone there. But what about like airplanes? Like that's another another hmm. another accident prone. Well where did Amelia Earnhardt go? Bermuda Triangle. Probably right. The good Bermuda. That's another conspiracy theory too, right? Have you guys seen the photograph? The photograph. 
Yeah, that's right. That she mm-hmm. survived on an island. Yeah, there's some photograph of her uh, so that people think that she's in uh, so it, from big some big island. Things, right? <laughs> this wasn't one of those Bigfoot things, right? Oh, Bigfoot? You don't think yeah, Bigfoot's real? I don't know. According to, is Bigfoot according to Alaska, real? there's a lot of uh, recording Maybe sightings. there's just a blurry guy walking around the woods. So there actually was a Bigfoot a long time ago, but probably probably not anymore. All right. That's a conspiracy theory, I think. No, no, no. Look it up. It's like it's called like Gigantopithecus. It, uh, it was... An, it, it, no, it was. It was like a giant like Neanderthal. <laughs> uh, I can't remember who has this joke, but it's hilarious on Bigfoot. He goes... He goes, uh, you know what you won't find when you go looking for Bigfoot? Black guys looking for Bigfoot. (laughs) (laughs) It's always like unfuckable white dudes looking for I actually that's interesting because every every history or animal planet I've seen, it it has been just white dudes trying to look for Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like really dorky white dudes just like uh, dude, today's the day we're gonna find them, boys. We're gonna get the Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. The squatch. Yeah, and and they never find it. They never find anything. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense that there's stuff in the woods. Like you're gonna see yeah. stuff, especially if you do LSD. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So you're mm-hmm. gonna see stuff out there. There's a good reason that nobody's recorded an actual Bigfoot. Dude, there are recordings. Also, also yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, bears often walk on their hind legs. Yeah, that could explain thing. a lot of people like maybe seeing like, Bigfoot. Could you imagine it being like dusk and you seeing like a bear itch its back on like a tree from far away? That would look fucking wild. I'd like, be like, oh my god, it's yeah. fucking Bigfoot, dude! Exactly. Also, how do they know they're not just seeing a gorilla? Miles, I don't. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> has anybody in Montana? Of, has, any, has anybody ever heard of the the conspiracy project Sunshine? No. That sounds familiar. Oh, what are we getting getting into here? Well, according um, to the theory or conspiracy, the government was stealing dead body parts to do radioactive testing. Mm. That sounds that sounds plausible. That does, and that 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 because that's interesting. I guess they wanted young body tissue. Supposedly. Well, are, well, okay. Were they stealing it, or is it just like donated bodies that this they? It's a conspiracy. Yeah. Let's let's go to our analysis. Yeah. Yeah, it was a series of research studies that began in 1953. So were they just like digging up graves? They were initially kept secret and then became publicly known in 1956. Hmm. So the notable studies are that they were doing tests on human bones. And that they were basically analyzing the soils in agricultural regions. Um, something, something. Something, something, something. Okay. Um, what about the pyramids? Who built them? Why are they there? Yeah. Pyramid of Giza. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. And what I feel like... I feel like there's too many examples of, of these things where people are like, it had to have been aliens or something... Not human, because well, like Machu Picchu is another great example. It's like on the very top of this mountain. It's like this huge yeah. mountain. It's how super they, high up. They, they didn't take any from the, what they built there. They didn't take anything from that mountain. They took it from another mountain nearby where the rocks had broken up. Yeah. And they dragged these massive rocks up to this mountain yeah carved them and turned them into well, buildings i mean like okay but that's, nice. that's that's interesting but i mean there are examples there are like recorded examples of like shifts in the earth where mount like literal mountains are they like fall over more or less they like huge landslides and it changes the landscape completely so what if that's a situation where what well, how old is machu picchu uh i think it was Probably. 1500s yeah. so i mean like what are you saying like in the 1500s that it was built yeah okay. 14 15, so i mean what if like you know 300 years ago there was a huge landslide that just ripped off a, a huge section that they you know used to transport yeah you but know, i mean dude the machu picchu is on top of a fucking mountain that means if it rolled down one mountain they still had to have enough manpower to yeah. drag all those bitches up there yeah right that's the that's, that's the, thing. the whole thing right yeah so they it's a it, it's a similar the, yeah they this the the sister example is the pyramids like the lot the stone that's used to build the pyramids didn't come from that region yeah. it came it from like cores like, like away. miles away yeah. and they're cut to a precision of accuracy that even 
our tools have a hard time, like modern day technology of of accomplishing. Well, isn't isn't uh, aren't some of the stones in Italy? I think it's in Rome. Actually, came from Africa. I think they took That's some insane. of the marble and stuff yeah. from Africa. Yeah, and I think we're just not giving those people enough credit. It wasn't mm-hmm. that long ago, first off, yeah, mm-hmm. and they could have had technology that that w- i mean you hear yeah, you, i feel like you hear today like uh uh techniques in medicine right like or like the ancient chinese technique yeah. to help you or do like this the, the Bab- like the babylonian library stuff like that yeah sure that people have just forgotten or like they just don't use even though it's it's a very helpful oh i went a different direction but, but i understand Right, so maybe there is a tool that we stopped using. Yeah, yeah. A met- or a method of transporting stone. Oh, yeah, or some kind of yeah. mathematics yeah. that we haven't well, implemented true. in our tools. And, and it just wasn't written down. Because like, right. like, for us, like transporting rock is like, okay, you cut rock, put rock like with a crane, and move it onto like a flatbed or, or some type of transport truck. But like they didn't obviously have any of that shit. So there's- maybe they did, though. Mm. What if they had water-powered trucks? Water-powered boats. Here's my pitch. I think just... I, I said this on the last podcast, I think, with Miles, but yeah. I think that the civilization that built that so long ago and so advanced that they knew about like the effects of combustion on the climate, so they made everything biodegradable, which is why we don't have any trace of anything that from them, right? Yeah. Too old. And... They left these like monuments behind and some kind of disaster killed all the smart people and left yeah. all the, uh, and I'm, I say that like jokingly. The Neanderthals. Yeah, it, le- it, it basically left a few select people left who had no idea how to use that technology and eventually yeah. they just like, you know, bred and, and, and suddenly nobody knows where this came from. Yeah, Actually, that, that's an interesting theory because... Um, there's also theories that there were a lot of like seafaring um, societies or like 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 a lot of societies that were along like a bunch of like coasts around like the early world mm-hmm. um, and that there was something like a shift in like the ice shelves up in like the Arctic and Antarctic, which caused um, like some like slight issue, like like uh, changes in the Earth's rotation or, ma- or magnetic field. Um, and then ended up resulting in like different like like uh, like like a rise in the sea level which is like an example like it kind of like i know it's like i'm like oh yeah the the world of atlantis but there there is it, it's it's an interesting theory that that a lot of these societies were wiped out due to like a rapid rise in sea level mm-hmm. um and you just you you just can't see them because obviously things have changed over thousands of years yeah yeah and um some of these like unexplained phenomenons of like aircraft and like the yeah. stuff that like Bob Lazar talks about in Area 51 or the other site he was on. I'm like, thinking ancient helicopter. Yeah, like like yeah. this is shit they found that was still intact from the time that they stopped making or were still making actual things that didn't like biodegrade, yeah. you know, or didn't dissolve. Yeah. Um, like because. Like, the pyramids were created four thousand years ago. Time, it's not that long. That's a long time. How, and, yeah, but how? That's a lot of great great grandparents. That's a long when, time ago. Dog. When we're talking, the there is what like four billion years that's old. What we think. No, no, no. Okay, well, you got to. Okay, but look at look at the species of, uh, of the human. The conspiracy would be that it's only four thousand years well, well, old. Well, well, My, if you talk to the Dalai Lama, <laughs> he yeah. will tell you everything's been reincarnated. But. This uh, is a good, okay. This is a good thought. Okay. All right. While we're on this conversation, reincarnation. No. No. Okay. Okay. The Dalai well, Lama. The Dalai Lama is a conspiracy within itself. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. That yeah. the Dalai Lama the Dalai comes Lama, back. A CIA agent. Okay. I didn't. No, that's a different. Did not see that going that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, okay, the whole okay, thing okay. about the Dalai Lama that's isn't. The didn't the Chinese steal him? I mean, currently they, they have him under. It's like the kid. Because, like, the old one died. I know, but they, we're talking about the old one. The original was a that CIA That he was a CIA agent. agent. That's that a, it's the against the narrative. It's against the narrative. I'm just saying. That could be a real real yeah, situation. Yeah. I'm not saying it's necessarily a good conspiracy theory, but it's against the narrative. What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? 
He's too chummy with the United States government. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, anybody that gets paid. Oh. Is that's that's like okay. Okay, okay there you go. There you go. Okay, I thought you meant they were like he was like a CIA like officer. Yeah, I think there is proof out there that he was he worked paid as with a U.S. salary. Paid. That's insane. That would be. Um, that'd be, that'd be that's a bit. That'd be, I'm not joking. Yeah. This is a real thing. All right, okay. So yeah. the U.S. government, the CIA, so there was a CIA Tibetan program because that's where yeah. Dalai Lama is it's Tibet, really right? Right. So uh, the Dalai, the 14 Dalai Lama, made arrangements with the U.S. government, uh, or the brothers of the Dalai Lama. Actually, it was the brothers of the Dalai Lama to create political action, propaganda, and parliamentary and intelligent operations against China. Oh. Yeah. I okay, see. interesting. So is that do you think that's why the why you said China so has the question taken the, the kid? conspiracy becomes is the Dalai Lama a CIA agent? It certainly sounds like maybe. So apparently he wasn't aware of this happening at oh, first. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. So you're telling me he didn't realize he was a CIA agent? Yeah, exactly. Sounds like the CIA agent got caught. So he, it's not like this. It's not like he had like official training. Like he didn't go to fucking <laughs> CIA boot He's camp. Constantly strapped. They were just him. like they were just like compromise, probably compromising him and and uh, what making him uh, 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 what do they call it uh, an accomplice, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, actually. Uh, this was going on, and it was costing the U.S. about one and a half million dollars a year. And this was going on until in 1972, Nixon visited China so that he could establish a better relationship, and the Dalai Lama was not happy about it. Yeah, interesting. He criticized the decision. He was like, "The U.S. never helped the people of Tibet." Mm. Mm-hmm. Is this after he got paid? How convenient! Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, all right. So, have we decided whether it's Dalai? true? Okay. It's well, true. so we don't know if he was a CIA operative. We can't say that. I don't think. Yeah. But what we can say is that and the Dalai Lama organization and the CIA were in bed together. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't really yeah. care whether okay. you know. Hey. My brother's in reincarnated into the Dalai Lama. Mm-hmm. I, hey, it's all coming from the same hand. That's right. That's true. It is. So let's talk about John Lennon. All right. John Wayne? John Lennon. Oh, Lennon. Yeah. What yeah. about him? So the conspiracy, the conspiracy says something towards the fact that the FBI was specifically spying on John Lennon, mm. especially because of his influence with his types of music and so forth. Oh, the counterculture. I mean, it was really an anti-war culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is a true one as well. I've heard about this as well. I think there were a lot of... um, In fact, even even in like other bands like Dead & Company... Or not Dead & Company, sorry, that's the new one. uh, The Grateful Dead... A lot of FBI agents were inf- infiltrating their concerts because they were afraid that the counterculture around their music was going to. The government was afraid of John Lennon. Yeah, Probably. they were. So they actually, in 1971, the FBI put John Lennon under surveillance because of his anti-war so activities. Many of these people don't know this stuff. Yeah, and yeah. the yeah. I, the INS Probably actually de- tried to deport him in 1972. Isn't that crazy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mm-hmm. a crazy thought. Oh, speaking of putting people under surveillance and we all know we're being trying to trying to <laughs> trying to get them uh <laughs> removed uh can we talk about martin martin luther king jr I mean, yeah that could be interesting Where are we going yeah. with this? uh we that they fucking killed him basically yeah, is probably i mean i feel like it right? so like like i don't know i haven't okay. heard this so like well whether- there, who there, well there's uh there's 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 um evidence that shows that they were basically writing notes to him saying like, we know you're a cheating, you know, you're, you're cheating on your wife. You should probably kill yourself. Like they, they were like who, telling who him. Who is they? Who is this? The FBI. The FBI. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. And then there's also some allegations that basically they set up his assassination because they were, they, they, they didn't like the, this him stirring up the, you know, 
uh, the culture and, and, and the way he did. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And yeah. I feel like whether or not you, you, you know, whether or not you agree with that theory, it's definitely super fishy that this dude of, like, big influence just is is randomly off, you know? Yeah. I mean... All right, so, so on that topic, mm. New World Order theory. Mm. The Great Reset? No, it's it's where you have a a concentrated group of elites that control all the governments of the world. Like the Illuminati. Uh yeah, kind of along that line. Yeah. But not necessarily the Illuminati. It doesn't have to be constrained to like what is traditionally known as the Illuminati. Hmm. Um What do you have to say about that? Because you have you have like legitimate groups I like think it's an easy excuse for governments just getting bigger. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really think that's really what happens, and I think people always need to label something. Yeah, but don't governments talk about that usually? I think groups of people actually talk about a new world order. I've heard that a lot recently. Mm-hmm. That um, a lot of people in power are trying to establish a new world order. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but it's just a different way of living, right? Yeah, it's like the the quote that's been going around is like, "You'll own nothing," and you'll like it and you're all going to eat bugs. Yeah. Everybody is the new diet is going to be just people eating bugs. I think Bug that's burgers, the, bro. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's just like a lot of like rich people with power, like saying shit. And yeah. Like, but like, but like, so this theory would, be, it's not, it's different than like rich people, like influencing like politicians. It's not like you're giving money. It's like, there are a group of rich people that all the governments answer to. Yeah, or, or elitist. I don't. I, I just don't see it because yeah. I think. I mean, how then? How do you explain all of the uh, corruption in govern in like leaders in other countries yeah. who are very corrupt? Yeah. How do you explain all the issues between different leaders? In I don't, I don't think. Point? I don't think it's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you look at it and you could use Hitler as an example. I think that there are people who have so much money that they're able to manipulate mm-hmm. uh, like yeah. entire societies yeah, yeah. Or, or, or countries, but I don't think it's like Biden and Putin are talking to some rich people yeah. like, what do you want us to do yeah. next? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, give me your yeah. orders. <laughs> but I think that like somebody who owns TikTok, aka like the, the people who own China yeah. mm-hmm. are influencing like the entire society of america into like yeah. some mm-hmm. belief maybe it's about the ukraine war mm-hmm. whatever yeah i mean they 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 found evidence that russia was doing this um like a state state funded operation to basically infiltrate social media ira right what's Something that like that what was it what is their organization called um I can't remember. Well, we saw a direct example where they did that, that like the the uh, filter app. It's the IRA. It's the yeah. Internet Research Agency. Yes, that's it. But they did the filter, the, the like some group in Russia released the filter app. Mm. And in the terms of agreement was like, you released all your rights to that photo. Yeah. And now they can use it however they want. And I remember when that app came out and I was like, I don't like that, dude. Because I figured out that it, it was from like, a group from russia and i was like this it, it, i'm just i'm not about that and um turned out that i my skepticism was was kind of accurate because it was like yeah all you people who took a picture on there you can be used for propaganda now what you know you what i mean or you can be used in like a really weird commercial to advertise a weird product yeah that's like yeah. uh what's his name from the office and glorious bastards uh, D, uh yeah yeah i think <laughs> there was a thing where it's like his picture somehow got into the oh, public PJ domain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's in the public domain, so now companies can just use his picture to but advertise actually, things. But it's just that picture. Yeah, it's just that's, that picture. That's that funny, picture. though, because in the office, he, uh, the Ryan, who BJ Novak you know, mm. plays, um, uses pictures of, like, Oscar and Phyllis to, like, advertise the, <laughs> the food preserves that he made. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. What was, this, what was the thing that he... Uh, 
the app that he made. Oh, Wolf. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Wolf. Yeah, it's yeah. like it was like like W H U L or W U L. Wolf it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and and then they got bought out by a university that had the the acronym that they had trademarked. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't actually <laughs> didn't use the nat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just yeah. wanted the name. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So he thinks that uh, the Denver airport is the Illuminati. Uh, uh, I don't, be- oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> don't believe so I think, I think Chase can debunk this Chase, one. Chase, yeah, there's no, there's no like secret bunker under that. I've been, know. I've been under the airport. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's no right. secret bunker since you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> you said you've been under there. Well, you I can't say, say on this podcast. <laughs> you did say you've been under there. <laughs> he might work for the Dalai Lama. We don't <laughs> <Yeah>. know. <laughs> oh, full circle. <laughs> Let's go. That's hilarious. No, I think I think I think uh, the the Denver International Airport is just riddled with uh, unfortunate circumstances that have surrounded itself with like creepy uh, yeah, it's mythos. Like, it's like one of the busiest airports in the world. Like having a really creepy horse in the front of it. <laughs> didn't it also kill its artist? What? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, and we tried uh, we tried to license it in one of our concepts, and the widow was like no she doesn't want anybody using it she's like very protective over it oh, yeah that, that thing wow. we, i saw it on my way my way in today mm-hmm. it was pretty fucking crazy yeah the the weird thing is like it had a lease basically it was like x amount of years it was um and then after that they were gonna remove it and uh i guess they're just keeping it indefinitely because of how attached it's become culturally yeah. to the airport yeah all right yeah pretty cool and also, when you go in the airport and you see construction, there's signs on the walls saying that the lizard people like misplaced the tools or something. I was yeah. Very confused by that. Yeah, they, 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 they're. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you would be. You would so, be confused by that. I was that. walking through there, and I was like, "Yeah, I was having to do the double check." I was doing the double check. You're like, what is this God. shit? Yeah, they leaned into it. Like the the airport, yeah. uh, they they lean into those. They think it's funny. I mean, it is pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, so. yeah. They um yeah they they uh, famously had like a, a one point two billion dollar baggage uh, like state of the art baggage uh, transport uh, system uh, that was like engineered by this big hot shot like German firm, and it like was like tearing up bags, like losing bags left and right during the first like year of operation or even the first like months and so they ended up just completely just uh shutting it down and not using it so if you do find yourself privileged enough to go down into the the underbelly of the beast the uh, basement tunnels uh you can actually see it it runs yeah. uh, above all of the the tunnels like, <clears throat> it's pretty creepy they're like pictures of it uh, you can see mm-hmm. oh, okay mm-hmm. right. yeah so i have a i have a good thought that right. could be a conspiracy theory in the making oh maybe, shit maybe, maybe it has so nobody's brand thought of this yet? hot off the press maybe, maybe, not, the press. maybe not this is the sound bite right. so does it concern anybody that yes Bill Gates has been buying up a shit ton of farmland. Uh, I saw something yes. recently yes. and yes. about why he does that. Yeah. Okay, let's before we move further. Yeah, I, I, have I also thoughts. have actually. Okay, so there is there is Bill Gates famously Doesn't does it sound like a theory in the making. He does the the it's Reddit a conspiracy. Um, there already is one. Anything? Huh? There he already there already is a conspiracy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are are very yeah. concerned about this. They are, yeah. Very skeptical. But so in in his ask me anything, making. he does actually. Someone's like, "Why are you buying up so much?" And I'm I'm not going to quote anyone. I don't I don't I don't want to you know. So you can look it up um, directly. But um, and it's not. I don't know. I, I thought he could answer it a little bit better. I thought he kind of danced around the bush a little bit. Some of his answers, Who, but really? no, no, Bill Gates. He. I think some of them were like, "It's actually not that much farmland. There's like a lot in general, you know, stuff like that." You know, there was so there was the theory out there that that Bill Gates was creating snow to burn people rather than melt. What? The, what the, are you talking about? All right, this is cool as fuck. All right, so I'm what are you talking saying, about? So Bill Gates has a lot of problems okay. that are associated with him with other theories as well. Okay. Yeah. So when you start yeah, like look, Epstein, yeah, uh, like yeah, Epstein, like he's buddies with Epstein. Yeah, he was pretty close friends with Epstein. Well, yeah, but then but then there is a real theory that he was creating snow to burn people. 
don't know this one. Yeah, yeah like, but that's a theory that's out there. Okay. So but, then when you yeah. start looking at all these farm fields that are being purchased and so forth, yeah. you're wondering, well, what is the guy really doing? Like, is he trying to control, like, crops? I have no idea. You know? Is he doing other things? And Microchips stuff in the GMO. Here's my two fields. cents. Is it um, is it a distraction? I think it's really like, happening? in this case, we're just going to revert to Occam, Occam's razor. Yeah. Um, because... <laughs> I Bill Gates strikes me as the type of guy that's like pretty concerned and at the forefront of like trying to better humanity, like looking like, like fifty, a hundred years. Shit, What's going, that? Are you going all sensitive? To shit? Sensitive? No, I just I really do think the guy has altruistic uh, motives here. I think he wants to own a majority of the farmland so other big companies don't. That, that, don't do that. that. That's a good counter. And then counter. and then ruin like a DuPont and all these yeah. other chemical companies. They have like basically or and all these other seed companies have like very stringent licensing on their seeds. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right. it's actually a really big problem with farmers because they can actually bully farmers into using like specific seeds, fertilizers, chemicals, and stuff like that. So by him owning a majority stake in that industry, he can actually be the forefront, like yeah. bully back, basically. Back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, um, nice that's my two cents, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I think is yeah. the most like reasonable, yeah. like but logical, but like it's also the most naive. <laughs> It could be, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. If if he is up to nefarious, I have no under, I have no reason to believe why he would have nefarious like. Motives. I mean, oh, so I mean. so I don't know if you guys are aware, but <laughs> Time will tell. he's still salty against Mac. Time yeah. will tell. Right? He's he's actually currently trying to evolve how nuclear power plants are built and operated, mm -hmm. um, and like one of the biggest breakthroughs is like preventing meltdowns. And I think what, what he's done, and again, I'm paraphrasing, so like I'm not directly quoting, but he's like basically using like a molten metal um, to cool the, like, uh, you know, enriched uranium rods um, or whatever nuclear fuel is being used so that you, you physically cannot have a meltdown if you lose power. Yeah. So like, because if, if, if the, the molten metal cools, it just hardens. So there's mm -hmm. no meltdown that takes place. So like, um, I, I I think right. You'd have to please fact check me the whole nine yards. But um, like to me, that's not that negative. You know, if he's trying to like push, like we can make nuclear energy safe. But then right? why is it so hard to figure out? So there's a a very good reason for why he's buying the farmland, and it's okay. not really that related to philanthropy. Farmland in the U.S. is one of the best invest best like sound investments you can make yeah. because uh it's a safe haven it's not volatile and it actually the investment in farmland outpaces the returns provided by like the s p 500. yeah when you say safe haven do you mean that it's like basically subsidized and protected by the government there's that and also it's land that like the value of it is is kind of like what it's worth it won't really go down okay yeah. so, because it's so, because it's needed right? so basically he's yeah. just buying it as investment and then he just lets people run on it so i feel like or he, yeah or he's, he's trying totally, to burn bodies with yeah. snow that or, mother you know i mean but also what's stopping him from being like hey i want you to use like these crops that like my best friend told me to so use. that's you know what i mean that's one of the other things it's called seed science and yeah. it's about uh the owners, like what Chase was saying, the owners actually telling them you need to use these types yeah. of seeds yeah. or fertilizers or whatever mm -hmm. because it's better for uh, food security. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's actually a, a pretty big problem because um, there's like it reduces like it's like uh, it reduces competition in the market and yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah of course all you want to try and reduce all of it right. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of good podcasts on that, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know yeah. that. Um, also, a lot of some people are saying we only have like 50 good years left of like good soil uh, because the way we reuse soil actually like removes uh, some of the nutrients so from it. And if we keep doing it over and over and over again, that yeah. basically we'll just have barren, useless yeah. farm. So I, I that's and, interesting. I feel like we'll find a solution. That's, well, we always do. So yeah. an, another thing that that I've seen Bill Gates push is the use of synthetic meat. He's he's really big on like that is basically going to solve like 
all these problems. I have no idea if it will. Everyone likes a good. Okay, I shouldn't say that, everyone. There, a lot of people still really like a good steak, like like a good burger, like a good cut of meat, right? Like I don't think. I think we're quite a ways off from being able to exactly replicate, right, that same texture and flavor and like quality yeah. of cut. Um, no, I mean they've already done it though. They just it's really really expensive. Yeah. Um, I think That's the true, key right? is. Yeah. It is not whether we can do it because we can do it. I think the key is can we mass produce it yeah, and right, right. can we do it cheap? That's true. Yeah, because not everyone's able, able to afford like really quality synthetic meat. Imagine when the day when lab grown meat is actually like way better than yeah. the regular stuff, yeah. you know? And it's just like, oh, dude, have you had that mat, that lab grown? There's like, and, and, um, in, in in America, they have a, a thing called USDA. Yeah. Um, it's a department that basically oversees the quality of meat. Yeah. And uh, so they'll they'll come in and they will uh, they will measure the fat content in the steak, the mm-hmm. beef, and yeah. give it a rating based on. Um, so there's like select yeah. choice. Yeah. And prime, then prime. Yeah. Like you go to the grocery store and they have the section, the yeah. section of prime, right? Yes. Yeah. And so I, I I can't remember what the, I think it's like 4% of all beef will be choice. Yeah. And then a very small selection as percentage of, of that will actually be ranked as prime. Yeah. Well, thank God meat. for that Wagyu. But then there's going to be a new category and yeah. it's going to be that lab grown meat. Well, that, so, it's like lab grown diamonds. I mean, LGM baby. Yeah. I mean, we, we all know we like the mystery meat. Yeah, exactly. We've seen, a, we've seen an example of, of lab operation, you know, taking over like organic operations. So like diamonds, right? Mm. Lab grown diamonds. If you look at the quality, the clarity, all these things that are yeah. are what make it, and, uh, it, except for the cut, because obviously the cut you can cut the same as an organic, or I say you know regular diamond. Um, they're all vastly superior at a much cheaper price. Like you can buy what is considered a borderline perfect diamond, which is almost impossible to find out in nature without it being top price, right? Top quality for relatively cheap now. And like I, you know, obviously that that's an example of it's been able to be produced at mass affordably. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's not it's not that far out of a concept to be like, why can't you know we start applying that to other concepts? Isn't it weird that even the lab grown diamonds, um, and there's a specific name for it. Do you remember what the name of it is? I think it starts with an M. But anyway, um, that it still has like imperfections and stuff yeah. and discoloration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah. It is odd. Well, I mean, it's like it's 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 literally like, like I feel like they should have been able to figure out how to make it completely clear. Yeah, they're like the flawless. carbon atoms yeah, yeah, yeah. should like, be perfect. What does that mean? What do you mean? It's like anything in life, though. It's like it's like what what, what is the true definition of flawless? Yeah, maybe sure. just like our right. AI conversation yes. about how we don't want a perfect flawless AI. Yeah. They yeah. do it purposely. Yeah, to create sure. a market. Yeah, to create a market because they're like they're not yeah. perfect. If you could buy a perfect diamond, yeah. you'd well, be like, that money I want the thing. Everything. I want the the imperfect thing. Yeah, it's like coming from the ground. So they just simulate Vintage. that. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the like, next thing you know, they're shitting on granite, which was the all natural thing. Yeah, and next thing you know, it's oh, everybody's got to have quartz, which is man made or, or concrete. And and now all of a sudden, yeah. you know, the stuff that was natural is no good. It's crazy. Well, it granite depends. granite kind of looks like dookie though. Uh, only. If you're picking out level one granite, yeah, that, that's a good point. That I was about to say, there's multiple levels. I, feel like I mean, yeah. I've seen some yeah. cool granite. I've yeah. seen some cool granite too, but I've seen like, but what I, my the sh- the share of the quartz I've seen, oh, it almost always looks better than the the granite yeah, does. Yeah, but then but then you get into quartzites. Yeah, Those yeah, are cool. solid surfaces, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. I, but hold I, on. before we go okay, down the rabbit okay, hole, because yeah, that's yeah. what's happening right now. Yeah. Let's go into something that will make things a little more interesting. Okay. Not only just so that we can figure this out, but let's let the audience decide for themselves. Mm, all right. January 6th. Now listen to this. <laughs> so, Queen Elizabeth the I. Okay. Miles, I need you to pull this up. Jamie, pull that shit now. <laughs> Was it a female or a man? Let's look at the picture. Okay. All right. That's an the fir- Wait, this isn't the... Back when they use like... Queen Elizabeth the I. Like Was it really makeup? a queen? 
That looks like a woman. I don't know, man. Was that a man? Well, know. maybe they painted it. I don't more feminine. know if we can assume the gender. Okay. <laughs> Because it's, it's trans. It's <laughs> was during a time where they may not have felt comfortable about. I mean, well, look it up. Do we Wait, have, did do we have a conspiracy she had theory? kids though, right? I, I don't know. Did he have well, kids? Well, okay, but Rosie's been hiding. <laughs> Rosie's been hiding shit Men like that for, forever, though, right? What? I, I feel like well, in. I mean, look at pictures. look at look at House of the Dragons, right? Where there is this this, this problem, and they hide it. You know what I mean? I feel like that's not an uncommon. Do we have a theory concept. or a conspiracy? Yeah, but if she's producing kids, then are people seeing who who is in the birthing room? You know what I mean? Like who? Like I feel like a lot of times it's a, like, it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, yeah. isn't it? I feel like a lot of times those things are just hidden from the general I mean, public. I mean, she's not. She. Uh, well, but let's talk about. This. Here's what it says, though. It says monarchs and presidents are no strangers to conspiracy theories. Perhaps one of the wildest conspiracy theories involved Elizabeth the first. Wow. We have hit our sensitive topic. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, Which wow, means wow. that it's like probably not true. <laughs> but let's but hear me out here because I have a theory for the conspiracy. Okay. And when you look at years and years of leadership over the past, wasn't it like kings? Did we have mostly kings that ruled? Mm. Dude, we should have a king. Did we not? Yeah, department. but there's a reason why did she came not, to power, in, though. In traditionally speaking, mm -hmm. did they, we not see men as power? That's not saying that we don't see women as power these days. But I'm just saying, so well, in the day, was Queen Elizabeth I really a man? So oh, I, I see. If you're looking at traditions. Here is the conspiracy. Here is the story behind right, the conspiracy. Let's, let's get into the detail. When Elizabeth was 10 years old, the bubonic plague was plaguing London. Mm -hmm. And she was sent to a place called Bisley, I believe it's pronounced, where people were trying to basically escape the plague. It was yeah, kind of a safe place, yeah. right? Uh, but people were still dying there. And she ended up dying. And King Henry was going to go visit his daughter, who was Elizabeth at the time. And the nurses all panicked because they were like, Oh, if Elizabeth died, we're going to die, right? Yeah. So they found this boy, this random boy, and told him that this was Elizabeth. That's and then this boy grew up to be Queen Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Ooh, this could have been real. Yeah, because I, I feel like in... in, in like, yeah, I, I could see this being a real yeah. thing. I mean, like, like how often is it... Is, is it like, I feel like the king doesn't have time to really be around to see... Like, I mean, when you look at some of the pictures... You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. This is interesting because if if uh, Queen Elizabeth eventually gets wed. Ooh. Oh, so was she wed? Like, like, like formally? If she was wed, then A, she conspired with her mate and was like, yeah, I'm a dude. Don't say anything. Yeah, why Why do you have this? Why do you have that up? That's her. That's not her. <laughs> that's not. No, they'd have that's, fucking. No, that was a possession. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's a throwback to the beginning of this no, conversation of the exorcism. That was the exorcism. Yeah. God damn it, Miles. Yeah. Damn it, Miles. Derail Stay this focused. conversation. Stay focused, Miles. <laughs> All right, since oh, we're man. off topic now, and we're never going to be able to decide whether it was a female. No, no, or no. Male. Listen, listen. Yeah, okay. Either the mate was like, "I'll go along with yeah. your thing," um, yeah, like, I was or days. or daddy found out Ooh. and was too ashamed yeah. to to admit yeah. that he's he thought she was a or he he thought he was a she, something, and something. so had to go along with it. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, the thing is, is it, it would be so much easier to do a cover up on this back in the Probably. day. Oh, for sure, yeah, for sure. I mean, that goes with anything, right? So that goes with anything. Fooled. This anything is a true conspiracy. Smart, yeah, but where did her kids come from? I mean, his the uh, the maid. You can order kids. Yeah. What if what if she was like, I get a little horny. I'm gonna have some some <laughs> some guy or I mean, some girl. Is this Queen Elizabeth have you, the Second's mean, mom? What do you mean, where was the kids? Think about this. What what about what what was it uh, uh was it was it King George or or what's the one that had uh it's one that had like six, six wives oh the one that basically created all like, of them like oh. the branch of did not they all have that I didn't watch the Crown wasn't I that know. King Henry uh, King Henry my bad yeah I think it was King Henry it was Henry. King Henry so he's got the six yeah. wives right yeah how many kids you could pop out with that maybe he had some side jobs he's like oh this is actually dude. 
definitely well, it had wasn't, side jobs. I mean, we know what guys. Was. It wasn't King Henry who who picked the boy. It was the nurses. The boy wasn't even royal. It doesn't matter. It's random. I'm just saying, like the kids could have came from anywhere. I mean, that's true. I want to it's save true. Your honor, man. Yeah. It's I want true. To save your honor. So maybe they're not even. British. I don't think we're gonna figure this out, other than the fact that true conspiracy, we could have the world fooled. Wait, wait, wait. Does her kids look like her? Yeah. Red hair. That's why I got to know. This. Red hair, su- super pale, pale skin. Google search on this. Yeah. Although we didn't. Problem have... is we don't have genetic testing back. Then. No, no. Problem is we don't have photographs. It was all just paintings. Right. A lot of times paintings were pretty accurate. No, well, they were pretty accurate, but you could pay the artist to yeah. make it look like... A female, even though it was a male. Well, a female, but not only, there but make go. her kids look more like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is true. No. But I mean, that's what I'm trying to look say. at this creepy <laughs> ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we're, for those who are just guys, listening, we're looking at a creepy... Exactly like like her. Uh, it's a twin Looking sure. baby. It's a twin. <laughs> Look side by side. Also, how did that baby stand still long enough for her to get yeah, that? P- I mean, that's what I want to know. Definitely, it was either dead <laughs> this or is it's modern a doll. day photorealism. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go. It's AI generated. You guys ready for a new topic? Sure. All right. What do you got? Does five G cause oh. cancer? No. And no, they did two podcasts on this already, okay, bro. It doesn't cause cancer. Does it cause COVID nineteen? <laughs> no, <laughs> even more so. No. <laughs> Why is that? Because I mean, it's not really real. That? We could be blaming China for no reason because that's the excuse. Five yeah. G didn't even exist before COVID. That's yeah. not true. I mean, it it <laughs> did, but true. it wasn't on the scale enough to do. COVID. Yeah. Why would it? Why would it uh, cause a okay, virus? Let me, let me, I have a thought. <laughs> Microchips. I have a thought here. We just got a blue label Think on this. I know. Spotify. On Spotify. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a thought here. My phone. For yeah. The longest oh, time. No. They go on about this whole five G, but half the time yeah, yeah. I'm really pushing four G. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. You know, even though they're no, even though they're saying five G. Okay. Okay. You so understand. are we in the testing stages where they're trying to figure out whether it's actually safe for human populations? And then we're learning that we're actually having more cancer and we have COVID-19 going on. And we're trying to figure out, is this 5G Dude, thing actually do you, good? Do you understand how many... Do you many... realize how many times my phone doesn't say 5G? Probably because... There's a well, whole other reason. Okay, do you know how... <laughs> because 5G does not Verizon. exist. I have Verizon. 5G yeah, yeah, just doesn't exist. You gotta exist. listen to our 5G podcast. Yeah, go back to the 5G. Not, I listen to listen it. To it makes sense to me. In today's world, does 5G not exist most of the time? Because we're in a trial period and they're trying to understand what complications. This oh, is. There are no, no complications. 5G is the infra- infrastructure needed. Look it up. Is it actually a conspiracy? <laughs> it's a conspiracy. It's, it's definitely a conspiracy. conspiracy. All right. But here, here's the reason why you don't have 5G most times is because the infrastructure needed to be built in order to support a five, an actual true is that 5G. Is bullshit excuse network? we're making? No, it is actually true, it's true because I have inside information because Janie used to work for Dish, which was the leading, uh, leading company building the 5G network. And you you need like a tower every 300 feet to basically support this. So a massive infra- infrastructure needs to be built to support an actual true speed yeah. 5G network. Because it's like massive download speed yeah. that you can't get wirelessly unless you and have so, it. And let me guess, the Chinese did it first. No, no, no. You have companies... <laughs> you have com- Some place called Wuhan. You have companies... <laughs> You have companies no, no. trying to basically rebrand the idea of 5G to become a leader in the 5G. Like if you actually go on if you go on verizonwireless.com and you look up their like coverage map, you will see there's a difference between 4G, 5G, they call it 5G nationwide. Hey, what, hey, what, are those, hey, what, are the, what are those little uh, Apple tracker things? Uh, air tags. Air tags. Yeah, so why don't we just like air tagging the birds with the five G uh, towers? You know what I'm saying? Watching the birds fly around. We By the way, sense. I don't know if you know this, but Xfinity like that, has come out with a 10 G network. Wait, say this one more time. Xfinity, 10G? Comcast okay. came out with 10 G. That sounds like it okay. costs cancer. First, first, of, first of all, this just further presses my. Your my concern, concern yeah. over 5G being a conspiracy. Right. When you're telling me that Comcast is coming out with 10G. So, mm-hmm. okay. So, what really is 5G? Is it just a name label? Uh, it's to- COVID-19. It's just the fifth generation. It's, it's just a fifth generation of a type of signal. And yes. arguably, if you just like minorly make 4G better, then that could just be 5G. Well, it's a sales pitch for one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, remember yeah. 4G LTE? Yeah. How many people bought phones because they thought they were getting 5G? Everyone. Dumbasses. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit, Miles <laughs> raised his hand. Miles, Miles, Miles. Oh, no, Too dude. fast on the hand. Oh, yeah. No, no everybody <laughs> knows you buy a phone for the camera. Yeah, that's there true. That's true. Yeah, well, at some point it turns into the airplane. So. What? <laughs> the <laughs> phone? What are you talking about? Well, Chase does it that's the a conspiracy. The phone, the phone ends up becoming an airplane? Yeah. The airplane only can go so far, and at the end of the day, they all fucking fly. Yep. I don't That's know true. if I'm following. I don't. I don't understand. Uh, sure. <laughs> Is this related to the Disney snow melt thing? No, not at all. That's and the that Bill was, Gates. That was Bill Gates. That was Bill oh, Gates. Bill Gates. Stay okay. Focused. I'm sorry. Okay. I had I, I, half listen, of the drink. Wait, 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 wait. Zach's not saying he believes in these things. He's just bringing up. Talking no. Points yeah, we about. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all talking yeah, points. Yeah, this yeah, has yeah. nothing to do with me personally. We're not judging him. No, no, no. Here. Anything we bring up doesn't mean we necessarily believe in it, unless it's. I believe in. I believe in 10G. Wow, yeah. I believe in 10G. Miles, Chase yeah. is getting the call guys. From the future now. is like, you're here. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, we oh, need no. you to do a commercial with a podcast. Miles, and you need to tell us you believe. In Miles 10G. comes back. There's like 10 more cameras, like <laughs> lighting equipment. There's like a there's a makeup artist. Miles like, where did like, you get all this money Miles from? Miles gonna be like, what happened? I'll be like, oh, he believes in 10G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, Chase what? has a tower in his backyard. It gets paid to be dumb. Chase gets oh, paid no, by man. FSU and 10G. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no, man. So, yeah, I guess Comcast decided that they have created the tenth generation. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. they have. You tenth. know what? I, if I was Comcast and I struggled as much with my customer service support, I'd say oh, I came up with ten G two. Comcast is a nice company. I have Verizon. Do you work for them? Oh, oh shit! Yes. All right, I was just captured. I, my bad. I, I, I was just captured. In that case, we believe in Tenji. Okay. <laughs> Miles, I, I, Miles is captured by sock companies and Comcast. Miles is like, Miles is like, shit. They're catching on to the Bill Gates theory. <laughs> yeah. I so I have Verizon, the BIOS uh, network, and yeah. so it's a gig up and down. Well, so a gig is relative. It's like Miles, 900, Miles 700. Is, hold up, Miles is like, dude, those aren't corn plants out in those fields. Those are ten G satellites. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ever seen those trees? You ever seen the trees? <laughs> yeah, dude. The dude, satellite trees? The cattails at the edge of the ponds. Yeah. Where Why can't we eat them? Where have you been? Have you ever they're tried to eat glizzies, one? by the way? Glizzies. Yeah, they're called glizzies. Dude, are you serious? Yeah. Have Miles, pull, pull up a video of somebody uh, eating a, okay, a glizzy. Have, have you ever seen a cattail disperse? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's cool as shit. It happens in, in the... In there. What was the name of that it video? Happens. It happens. happens. I don't know. Just see. Just type in somebody eating a cattail. Oh my god! This Wait, cat plant cattail. <laughs> Not an actual. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, oh, well, no, welcome dude. to Wuhan. That would be so bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! This is why we got COVID nineteen. Yeah. All them fucking, fucking degenerates. Fucking bats, dude. <clears throat> bats. Have you ever? Okay. Has anybody actually tried bat? Maybe it's really fucking good. No, there's a reason why you don't eat bat because uh, they I, transmit diseases. I, I think that ended. Well, the bat eating. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they still I'm eat bat. Sure dude, stop, okay, sure no, there it. there is a cave in. So I think it, I think it's in Africa where like Ebola and several several strains of of diseases have been discovered to come from. I know and it's where they have the bat. They have like bat colonies. Okay, maybe they, I'm starting to sound kind of crazy, okay. but it's legit. It's legit, bro. Just look it up. Okay. Wow. All right. You must work for the WHO. We all know. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, dude! I've never seen. Yeah, that. yeah. you never seen that, Jeez. dude? It became a trend of people doing it on TikTok. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps. Oh, it just keeps coming out of his mouth. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that's exactly god. what it's like. Jesus. <laughs> that's what it's like. Oh, Whoa. It's one of my favorite TikTok videos of all time. It's great. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Is, that is some Florida Everglades swap shit. Did you it know? Is, yeah. Did you know that's, that's what people Florida call it? Stuff. They call it glizzies. That's a, yeah. Dude, that's a. It cracker. looks like a hot dog. Yeah, it just looks it's like a hot glizzy. dog. That is a Florida cracker right there. Oh no, he's not, he's not even white. <laughs> Jesus, yo, he's been hanging out with the Indians. Yeah, he probably died two minutes later. Oh, yeah, probably. That looks like a seminal ritual. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no. I feel like you could choke on that. Yeah, that definitely, like, right? Imagine if you just well, stuck is... deep throat the thing. So so how does that even no? you're right? Is it just that <laughs> yeah. dense it up. Like, yeah. like fibrous material where it... also yeah, that, so. that shit looks like you could weave into yeah, like, like a like a you, like a... you could definitely make a pillow out of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. What happening? What's happening? Yeah, they should start making glizzy pillows. Can I get one of those cattail pillows? Yeah, yeah. it's the right. new. It's the new oh, my pillow, we my could, glizzy. Hey, we could brand that. Oh, this is like the humane version of down. Yeah. yeah Instead of putting go. down in it's your feathers, jackets, cat-tails. Yeah. yeah, no feathers, cattails. Glizzy. Well, you can't call cat-tails. it ca- cattails because people yeah, are gonna yeah. think we're killing cats. We became millionaires. Glizzy yeah. down. Like the cattail pot. Glizzy <laughs> down. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Alternative glizzy down. Somebody's gonna make money off of this now. They're gonna see this. They're going to see this podcast and they're going to be like, that was a great idea. Thank you. And then next thing you know, we're going to be coming after them going, that was our idea. Whoever is listening, we've already patented it. We have a cousin who is a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles knows people. Yeah, he does law. We got a cousin. We have a cousin. We got a cousin. Because we have a cousin whose name is Italian. So (laughs) That guy is Italian. So it's um, always good to have an attorney in the family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Uh, what about the conspiracy that? Um, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. You're getting there. You're trying, to getting think, there. trying to think of another conspiracy. Zach has yeah. a lot of conspiracies. Yeah, well, right, well, Zach's our conspiracy really, guy. Actually, so listen to this. So, all right. All so right, we, right. We were talking about Amelia Earhart earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. And we were talking about Bermuda Triangle, all this stuff, mm-hmm. right? All right. So getting back into Amelia Earhart. There is a conspiracy out there that thinks one of the reasons we cannot find Amelia Earhart's body is because she landed and she ended up on an island. We, and was, we did? And she was eaten by crabs. Oh, eaten by crabs. Yeah. What about the bones? I don't know, man. Uh, by crabs? No, like, That's like, what we're like saying? Legit crabs. Yeah, like... Not the ones in their bed. Oh. oh. Like, like Dude, speaking crabs. of crabs, pull up this uh, the video of... I mean, Coconut okay. crabs infiltrating a campsite. Yo, that's just no, no, no. You that's, saw that? No, that's what it, no, no, no. But Amelia Earhart was the coconut crabs. Yeah, yeah. It was coconut exactly. crabs? Yo, look at this shit. Okay. Watch, watch Miles so pull this stuff up. We, hey, also, maybe after we see this video, we'll realize that now we know what happened to Amelia Earhart. What's also wild is you see these giant crab migrations of millions and millions of crabs migrating across like a short... Yeah, but those are smaller crabs. But what I'm saying is... No, what no, if, no. It, what was, if, it was specifically coconut crabs. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what are we watching? We're watching an ad. You're welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad. This, see, this this triggered something. We're gonna get sued. I'm glad that. Yo, check Ch- this. Chase understands and he believes now. Oh Yo, check this shit. Yo, could you imagine? Uh, do those things hurt? Uh, if they, f- yeah. Do they see how big them fucking meaty ass claws are, dude? Jesus. She's just sitting there. I mean, now you know why. Dude, really are dude, look no at him. way. You're that casual. Dude, look yeah, at those pinchers. They're not gonna hurt you. Dude, look at those pinchers, dog. Yo. Oh Can my god. you imagine god. if it wants to like crawl? Like imagine out. how much meat you're getting. Sorry, out of sorry that for thing. those listening. We're looking. At, we're looking. At, if you guys want to see the video, Google uh, "coconut crabs infiltrate campsite." Dude, no also, way. Also, check us out on YouTube. You'll be able to see it. No way. I mean, this could be the island that Amelia Earhart landed on. Yeah. I mean, I think they they exist That's... on more than one island. That sounded like it was in Australia. Good God! It's a conspiracy. I think they do. Just like I don't. I don't know about the crab thing, but I think the island is the conspiracy is true. Do you think it's true that she landed in an island? You think she was smart enough to crash near a li- an island when she was in the open I mean, she, water? What if she just she got, got lucky? Eat, she got eaten by got, the coconut crabs. What if she just got straight up lucky and was like, "Holy shit, there's an island. I'm out of fuel. It's been leaking." So I'm the reason she was famous is because she was flying around the world, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then she just disappeared. Yeah. Which, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like, or she, la- she landed somewhere and was just like, oh, this seems nice. Yeah. yeah like, maybe she it. didn't want to be be found. Mm. I think she was, she was, uh, this was a very public event. So yeah. I, I was like going to say, I feel like found. airplanes weren't really just like landing in a lot of places, not being known. It's what not if, like today where you, there's hundreds of thousands of airplanes. What if she was just pranking everyone and she kept it going too long? She's like, ha ha, guys, fooled you. In too deep. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. in too deep. Well, how old would Amelia Earhart be today? Probably dead. Well, we don't know that without looking it up now, do we? Dun, 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 dun. How old would she be? What, day, what, what year was she born? She was born in 1937. Oh, so she would not be. She could not be dead if she lived a normal life. So she was only 37 years old. Yo, 
I like how they have a died date on her Wikipedia. Like, y'all assuming she died? Dude. Is it it questioning us? It is questioning us. We're going against the narrative. Wikipedia has a a dead date. Like, they know the exact date and year. Well, okay, okay. You say they. It's just some random person who probably put that shit in there, bro. And no one's fact We're talking about the New World Order here. That is. You're fucking. Oh, my God. Full circle, dude. She was only 5'8. No, she was, what do you mean she only, was a shoddy. What do you mean only? Well, I think yeah, well, pilots are I mean, notoriously short. Right? I could, I really? could say that's a conspiracy. I, don't know. I mean, that she was like eight? jockeys and yeah, race car drivers. I mean, think about yeah, it. Yeah, well, like they Formula tell One. You that drivers, when you wake up but... in the morning, you are taller. That's true. It's stuck, it's stuck. So maybe they so, measured her at the end of the day. She's five eight. I don't know where they're getting their information. Maybe five nine. Could be. I don't know. Wait, it says she was five eight. Yeah. And Miles said that was short. Oh, that's actually not that short. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. It's not that short. <laughs> How tall are you? I think I'm 5'8". Five, five, I'm 5'9", five, dog. Oh. No, That's the cutoff. This is what I said. 5'8 is the cutoff to she's, being tall. She's 5'8", and Chase goes, damn, she's a shorty. Wow. I thought you said she was like 5'1 or something, dog. <laughs> My bad. Well, shorty doesn't necessarily mean like shorty. Shorty's like a melody. My hand you mean I don't know. Well, apparently she was 41, not 39. <clears throat> Did we See, we have... Different sources Conspiracy. saying different things. We don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do we know she died? Yeah. That's we, true. We don't. What else you got, Zach? But but coconut crabs. Okay, coconut crabs. What else, what else you got for us? I don't know. I gotta I gotta give it some thought. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I I could <laughs> probably I could probably. It's know. actually a thing. You, you what? You you're just now picking up on this. <laughs> hey, you know what's a conspiracy? FTX. FTX. It's a conspiracy. Yeah. It's a flight thing. That it like didn't have issues or what? What's FTX? I don't know. You don't know what FTX is? I don't know. Federal it. Trade Sam Exchange. Sam Bankman oh, yeah, Freed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you have any crypto in in FTX, Zach? No, nah, dude. I stayed away from the conspiracy. Yeah, Mister uh, <laughs> Mister Wonder or whatever. Wonderful. Was, wonderful was involved in that, and he uh, he wasn't too happy. Yeah, well, he got scammed. Everyone's and he alone. doesn't like everyone scammed. got scammed who was like like one of the this is probably one of the worst like i feel like people don't it's not necessarily a scam though I, okay they just got fucked over by an asshole yeah exactly yeah and is it was wasn't it an yeah, intentional it was a scam. con though yeah it was a con yeah. no no i think i don't think it was necessarily a con i think he was just banking on his system working yeah, because he's delusional. Never, never crashing, and then he would, they would be able to still maintain. Well, that's a con though, because he's, he's like. It's I think like, it's, it's just like a, a mismanagement of. Okay, of that, funds. That, that's true. Like, that could be. That's probably. Good I don't point. think he like intentionally was like, I'm going to scam all these people. I think yeah. that's the question. Yeah. Like, yeah. M- like fraud. Bert, like Madoff was actual intention yes right, right. he so went he was out. like i'm scamming these people oh okay that's yeah. a good point whereas yeah. sam bangman freed the issue was that they were using funds of accounts that they shouldn't have used yes. for investments in yeah. their re- in their like whatever coin okay so he could have just been negligent like market just, like, maker he's just an idiot well they uh, they they made really risky moves i, I mean it would have worked like, out it would have worked out if a few things didn't happen. I was going to say, if a few things didn't happen and it worked out, they'd be like the smartest so, in the world. You know I mean? bet that there are banks and financial institutions doing similar things yes. today and it just hasn't, they haven't gotten bitten by it. Yeah. Yeah. Like established banks. I mean, some like some were kind of doing shit like that, right? Wells Fargo. Yeah. Perfect example. But you could easily have Merrill Lynch like, using funds improperly and they just haven't gotten caught it was a lot easier to do it because it's not crypto wasn't regulated in the same way yeah speaking of scams what isn't it isn't the the uh the brett Favre? where mm. it's the it, what, what was it it's not disability what was it um ppp no not ppp basically it was like um shit like medicare scam or some shit like that yeah yeah, yeah isn't that yeah. insane yeah, i don't know what it was though yeah yeah, but now he's suing people yeah. for defamation. I mean, we're a little off topic because that's not conspiracy okay. theory to like actually like. Kind of makes sense though because his brain's all fucked up. So somebody probably told him like, "Hey, you should do this," and he was like, like, "That's a good idea." Yeah. I mean, I I feel like I feel like we're like, oh yeah, CT all these days, but we're not like looking back at like like retired players from years ago, yeah. and we're like, maybe this explains a lot of 
Yeah, like Tom Gravy. Like Tom Gravy. Yeah. It totally makes sense why he retired and then came back. Yeah. He was like, Why do you think he came back? This is okay. Cause because he time. went to work <laughs> and they were like, Tom, you retired. And he was like, I did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. But, 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 like, Some there's nice more to it than that, though. Because, like, like, he, they're, like, him and, and, you know, Giselle are, are getting divorced. So, like, yeah. do you think, like, she was like, don't go back. And he was like, fuck it. I, I got to play football. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm the GOAT. I'm still in my, I'm still working. And it worked. Yeah. He won a Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah I, think, <laughs> I, like, I think he probably yeah, retired good, and he yeah, but... was depressed or something. Yeah. He just woke up and was like, I made the wrong fucking Listen, decision. You, he has been doing this basically almost yeah. all his life. Right. And so it's got to be so difficult to wake up one day and not yeah. be doing that. Like you are one of the greatest athletes to ever like be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, can we talk about how he was drafted like 199? Yeah, yeah, he played at Michigan. Yeah. He wasn't that good. No, and, and then it's just like, you're like, you literally came from the bottom. Like, he was at the bottom. I mean, steroids do a wonder, you know? Now we... Here's a here's I a conspiracy. I don't think he was steroids. I think okay, just, here's that's, a conspiracy. that's the thing, though, right? Because Lance Armstrong, right? That, that Got away with doing yeah, but, steroids yeah, but forever. Yeah, Tom Brady wasn't, whatever like, he was doing exceptionally doping. athletic. It was his understanding of the game to, to manipulate the field with his, his like plays. Like, in the, in the ball? Is deflate deflate the balls and stuff. I mean, deflate gate intelligence. Another conspiracy, you know. But what what was it? It Made it easier to catch or harder to catch? Um, I think easier to throw. Easier to throw. Yeah, Yeah, because you can kind of grip it. So he was like genius physics. Obviously, he paid (laughs) attention to physics. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's only cheating when you get caught. (laughs) But was it cheating? AKA (laughs) that whole South Park episode is so funny. (laughs) The cheating episode where Cartman becomes the teacher and (laughs) teaches them all how to cheat. How do I reach these kids? <laughs> um, here's a conspiracy. Okay. The NFL is rigged. That's definitely true. I feel like most of the national sports are. They have to be, right? Right? They don't have to be. Okay. okay, so look at the NBA when they caught. I can't. You can probably look it up. It's very famous. But they caught the ref yeah. cheating, right? Yeah. He was basically shaving points. And he was like, it's not just me, dog. It's everybody. Yeah. It's all the refs. Yeah. It's it's not just ref. It's administration. Like there are there are like rules that normal people don't know about. That like this is how things work, right? Certain players get certain calls. Certain players don't get certain calls, right? We're gonna call certain, you know, yeah. certain plays. Um, and he was like, it, it wasn't just him gambling. He was like, all the refs gamble. Like they all have this. Yeah, this I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of bombshell like 10 years from now yeah. of like a, like a big documentary that basically blows it wide open that like the last 20, 30 years of professional NFL or NBA was like all yeah. rigged. There's so much money that people don't realize. I don't necessarily sports. think it's all rigged. I think oh, there's, yeah, there, there's there's like tipping the scale yeah, yeah. rigging, and I think that's what's going on. I mean, I mean, look at the people. Who, like these are incredible athletes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys have ever been like. I'm sure you may have because I don't know you've gone to a few games, but if you've actually been somewhat close to like, mm-hmm. an NFL player, they're fucking giants. Yeah. Even small NFL players are huge. Like they are bordering superhumans i mean so yeah there's there's definitely legitimacy to like the talent and the play you see but when it comes down to it when it comes down to it uh, yeah like the recent um lebron james lakers game where yeah. the end the, basically the ending was deter- was based on this like a lack of a call yeah, yeah. if they would have called a foul on lebron or for lebron yeah. then he would have inevitably made the the yeah. you know the 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 free throws and won the game. Um, And it was like, you played the replay and you're like, how did he miss that? It's so weird. It's almost so weird. It's suspicious. I feel like we say that a lot towards the end of games. Um, Like the Super Bowl Mm -hmm. even had uh, kind of like, Mm -hmm. it It was a questionable uh, call. Yeah. yeah, Maybe almost inconsistent with, with the game. It was like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, the worst I've seen. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, there, like, there yeah he tug, he tugged on his on his yeah. thing, sure. but but this is the biggest game of the year, dude. Yeah. But it wasn't to the extent of where you're like you obviously should call that. It was yeah. like okay, yeah. come on. So in the game in NBA, yeah. flopping 
is against the rules, right? Yeah, you can get so a penalty. So that fine. means that, uh, and you get fined for it, right? Yeah, Which means, yeah. yeah. So those players who are doing that are cheating. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why you get fined. Yeah, right. But if there, there's consequences, you know. But the idea is that like all the players do it. Yeah. Right. All the players cheat. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I did it when I played. If they're okay with cheating, part of the game. Yeah, when, my, when Logan played professional yeah. NBA. Oh, okay. Let me preface Seriously? when I played my. Yeah. You're talking about my rec league. NBA 2K6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I when I played in like an organized league when I was much younger, yeah, if you you sold the foul, you like, had did to. Did you play basketball? You my, my amateur not. days. You uh, were talking about like league. Is it down here? <laughs> yeah. It's like we, he, he has. <laughs> you said something. He's like, like hi, my name is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I have cancer. I have been smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, we do know that the whole cigarette thing was a conspiracy. What was? Yeah, was how the tobacco companies. Mm -hmm. How they were like, oh, it's not addictive. Yeah, nicotine. Cigarettes. Saying that it is bad or it isn't bad. Uh, they did for like a good 20 years. Oh, they lied about it. That they, the nicotine companies yeah. knew. Yeah. 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 Agents of dissent they where they would pay experts to go on TV shows and basically promote how healthy certain foods were, <clears throat> like sugar versus fat. Yeah. Remember when we all used to think fat was like the enemy? Yeah. And you would have basically people going, lobbying in the for the sugar industry, going in and basically, you know... Uh, putting out the whole propaganda against yeah. fat. Yeah. Wasn't there something related to sweeteners that was like that? I can't remember if what it was. Or like sweeteners cause cancer. Splenda. Well, yeah. Caffeine, I mean, everything caffeine. really causes cancer if you inject like copious copious yeah. amounts of it. Yeah, your but body. the the study that came out or like the paper that was Except written on it. It's beers are against yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely will cause cancer, though. It, 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 it was somehow <laughs> yeah. politically made. It was like either the person who did it came out with that, was threatening like big sugar or whatever, or it was yes. the other way big around. Shug. I can't remember. <laughs> big sugar, yeah. Yeah, you no, know, you're definitely right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this alien urine <laughs> will give us cancer. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, no. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay, the, another. I, I don't know if it's conspiracy, but how bad do you think like vaping is for you? Like, like, like. I, obviously, smoking a cigarette is terrible for you, yeah. right? But, but I feel like vape companies have painted that like, oh, if you just vape, it's like totally healthy, bro. You know, it's just a nicotine, right? You don't have all these bad shit. That's a, <laughs> I don't a cigarette. know if I don't know if they've necessarily advertise that it's healthy for you but i think they've advertised that it's an healthier alternative to smoking which i do think it is sure yeah i don't think they're look most of what you use and put in your body has consequences even some of the healthy stuff why do i keep seeing guys on tiktok who are in their 20s with the thing in their throat and saying to me that i shouldn't vape because those guys were taking yeah. deep rippy dippies <laughs> off their their battery every five <laughs> seconds all day every day. They were like 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 single pod one rip. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, oh, <laughs> is that what happens? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they'd wake up and be like, "Time to dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Time to take my rippy dippy." <laughs> oh, not the rippy dippy, dude. <laughs> oh so, no. Question. Okay. Is the Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster real? Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. So I have a theory on this. Oh no! So uh, while I was wandering around in the world of natural history museum, is that how did I say it right? Loch yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. While I was wandering around looking at all the dinosaur specimens and bones and all that, yeah, one, yeah. one of them, <laughs> one of them <laughs> looked like the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> yeah. That's because it's based off of an old old dinosaur that lived. So my theory is it could be out there. <laughs> Bigfoot. I think the better question is: Are were dragons real? No, no, no. Oh, don't get shit. All, don't, right? Don't get, don't get, don't Yo, that. did dinosaurs right. have feathers? What? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, 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 like a uh, pterodactyl. No, dude, it, it's 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 chicken, like, chicken, no, it's, emus, emus. They, are they actually, dude. there's been some recent those studies. Are they're they're raptors. Raptors. They're there are yeah. recent studies they're where like ancestors. like a tyrannosaurus they're rex was much more covered in, in like feather or like like fuzz yeah. than we thought. I just yeah, don't yeah. see it. 
He I doesn't mean, see the dinosaurs that way. I mean, where like I feel like there's. Have so, you seen Jurassic Park? I mean, exactly. So, I feel like hey, there's just so much more diversity so, than scaly so and hard skin. So after those dinosaurs there and the specimens and so forth, and then looking at it, realizing that one of them <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast, dude. <laughs> on the podcast, dude. One, one of them. <laughs> one of them looked exactly like the Loch Ness Monster. So my thought is, that thing could be swimming around out there. But yeah, you, you yeah. do realize that most of what you see in those museums, they only have like 10% of those bones, the, the actual yeah. bones, and Actually, then they recreate. They, they show you. No, they show you. That. They admit to that. Yeah. Okay, they show, okay. They, they, do, right. they do admit to that. Yeah. But what? the fact is... Most of it's made up. Or, or of, it's several skeletons put together. The fact of it is, it is it's real, though. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there are a few ex, there are a few exceptional specimens where it's it's very complete no, and it's very very rare. Listen, it's I believe rare. that God put those bones there he for us to, it. to think that the Maybe dinosaurs were real. The Egyptians and they're like these fuckers are gonna believe in the pyramids. Well, that's why they built the pyramids to hide from the dinosaurs. Yo, what what is what's they, under the pyramids? I would build pyramids like that. The tombs. Have you seen those things? Like you? Yeah, they're like, oh, all right. So we know the T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> then we know the T Rex exists. What are we gonna do about it? They're at the board meeting. Yeah. And they're like, how about we build this stone structure and we all hide in it? You know, there were more than just the pyramids of Giza. There's pyramids all over the, the desert. Yes, of I like different rulers. No, There's like 180. We, we, we there were a lot of dinosaurs. Yeah, we saw them in Mexico. Good fucking point, dude. Yes, lots of dinosaurs. Good to fucking hide. point. What do you uh, think they did? With those the are called temples, then? by the way. Well, they we, they weren't digging for the fossils. Yeah, but sometimes you just find them. It, yeah, but then they were probably they're the, like the this thing. Rock. <clears throat> here's a hard rock. The thing about fossils is they aren't intuitively fossils. Until as you gotta like scrape the rock away. Yeah, you're gonna have. Yeah, yeah, you don't like accidentally find yeah. it. Like, a you're just you're just like oh, this is a you hard part of the dirt that I've fossils. Right, they have to turn them into fossils. Like I saw something recently yeah. saying that scientists found some tools, yeah. tools of one of our re- our old, really old ancestors. In fact, I don't even know oh, if it yeah. was one of our ancestors. Yeah. Yeah. It might have been like a branch, a branch off, off, and then like yeah. one of those. Yeah, uh, where they previously didn't think that they used uh, like technical tools. Mm-hmm. And I lo- I saw the 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 fossils like marsupials. Or, or the the uh, the artifacts, and it was literally like a rock. Yeah. I was like, how did they know this was a tool? They pulled it out of the ground. They're like, definitely a tool. <laughs> well, yeah, if you look at it, tool. you can you can find like abrasions, yeah. I think, and like yeah, yeah, like yeah. inconsistencies. Some people were calling it a sex tool. Like that. I'm like, oh, s- fuck. They were Yo, putting these up there. They actually found like a wooden like dildo from like super far back recently. Wooden. This, yes, this look it up. It's all, it was all over Reddit. I no, no, no. Look that shit up, dude. Yeah, it's real. Splinter City. You oil it up. Obviously, you oil it up. I'm yeah. thinking a rock is more likely. Dude, look it up right now. I gotta look up wooden dildo, dude. Rocks are the cast. well. Actually, I've, 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 I've felt some smooth rocks, but I feel like wood can get a lot more smooth. Imagine. Than a rock I mean, can. someone's got a someone's got experience. The risk of splinter. It's like having a actually, glass I take dildo. That back. I take that back. You know. I mean, it could be one that's been like in the water a long time. Mm-hmm. I, I, no, like I those actually, distressed the distress I, I will say a polished stone <laughs> probably would do a far better job than wood. Yeah, you get some beluga whale oil. What if you're desperate though? What if you're desperate? <laughs> Lather it up, put it up your butt. <laughs> what if you're desperate, you know? That's desperate. Funny. Yeah. Or petrified wood. You guys ever oh, thought I about I was looking for the petrified how wood. Hollywood has shaped the way you think about uh people from the past? Yeah, of course. For instance, I heard that someone say this the other day. That's what made me think of it. You know the Indiana Jones movie where they have the Nazi? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> All of them. Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> so, does, like, we all saw that when we were really young, right? Do we think of what the Nazi people were as that, like the people in those movies? I mean, I think to a certain extent, like the uniform the uh well i mean the movie is shot from the perspective of the good guy yeah that's true so they make the bad guys nefarious yeah they make them look evil yeah 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 yeah. and they're like they go well i don't think they make well are you talking about like (laughs) like what what, what is it to how is it to look evil well so like he's like excited i excited at like causing someone pain and no no we're talking about like we're not talking about personality yeah maybe he has a scar oh okay i see i see yeah yeah. but uh, the round glasses the round glasses the the weird you know smile yeah so i think that 
it like uh, until you actually see footage of nazis you're gonna have this impression of what they they looked like right? yeah and they just kind of <laughs> looked like normal people but they had like their uniforms on like, well like, all uh, germans look like them you know but not all of them had like a scar, like you know, just kidding, perfectly Germans. placed that made them look like. You just got deranked. This in sounds Germany. like a cultural problem. <laughs> Actually, Wait, so what are you getting at? Yeah, you think they just look evil? No, no, no. That was just an example okay. uh, of Hollywood. Right? Uh, of what uh, Hollywood uh, portrays they things. They look like Russians to me. Yeah. And so we had this discussion a long time ago with one of the guests on our podcast, where we talked about how uh, I forget what it's called, but basically when you censor things from history, mm. like from movies, mm. right, or like. This is a really controversial thing. I mean, we got a lot of that going on today. This is a really controversial thing, but like uh, having a movie about uh, a historical place with like where it was predominantly black people and yeah. having a lot of white actors, or if it was predominantly white people yeah. and and forcing the the studio to use more black actors, yeah, yeah. right, for like diversity reasons or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so now we're having like a distorted perception of of time mm, or like sure. uh what that time was like. Yeah. Well, that's like anything. You can make it whatever you want it. <clears throat> yeah. That's a good point. Which yeah. is why you should just watch documentaries. Yeah, yeah go the go to the Netflix geographic category. Yeah. But documentaries, documentaries can twist things too. They can't oh, because for it's sure. all shot in perspective. For sure. But when you go to a place, it's hard to like stay well, no, it's not. I take that back. It's pretty easy to stay to like only shoot specific angles of places well remember like this is why i like to hang out in irish bars because they always look like irish bars i don't ever feel like i'm being fooled (laughs) that's fair like like there's always bangers and mash on the menu have you actually been to ireland clover leaves that doesn't ever feel like an irish pub green everywhere american irish oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no i was saying have you been to ireland like does it it actually like that i don't know it's, it's only it's all based on my perception yeah yeah. So what if you went to Ireland what? one day? What you, you go like, in, damn. You go into a pub and you're just like, what? Yeah. But, let, but, but hear me out here. But hear me out here. When I go to an Irish pub, I expect it to look like an Irish pub, and it always looks like an Irish pub. Yeah. What do you? Expect I don't ever feel menu? like I'm being fooled. Hmm. What, what's your favorite menu item in Irish? I see what you mean. I. You know what I haven't seen recently open like as a new like business venture? Irish pubs. It's because there's too many of them. Yeah, I feel like there's just maybe it's just hard people. To people just don't want to go there anymore. I don't know. I like them. There's I, one in know. every city. <laughs> yeah, but you're not like the typical demographic so of a you, new restaurant are opening. Are you calling me the leprechaun that walks in? I'm calling you old. Yo, like, <laughs> <laughs> totally different. <laughs> Yeah, you look like a leprechaun, bro. You kind of do like the look like the guy from the, what's that Disney Channel movie? Pull up the ma- the the uh, luck of the Irish. I'd like to see my twin. It's the haircut. It's the haircut. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely not Lucky Charms. It's magically delicious. This guy. Yeah, hold on, pull it up. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I see it. I yeah. see the resemblance. Yeah, too. the ears too. I mean, he's got earlobes. Damn, them things are huge. Oh yeah, you don't have earlobes. Yeah, welcome to the eleven percent. Whoa! Wait, did Dozak had attached? Those are eleven percent right there. Damn. <laughs> Those are eleven. You're never gonna be able to let it dangle, dude. <laughs> look at, hey, let's look up. Hey, let's ears. look up the real percentage. You're never gonna be able the to population that has connected earlobes. You're never gonna be able to feel what it, what it's like having the wind blow your earlobes. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty fear. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Is that a real thing? You'll never know it's like to pull on them things when you're nervous. Yeah, dude. Here we are. Pull, yeah, pull on them things. Here, pull on them things. Pull on it. I yeah. want to see. Pull on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I, did it, I think you kind of gave yourself a little bit of a one I, and then it kind of reformed back. I got a low. That's not the low. Oh, my bad. You got a- it right there. 18%. Dude. 18. Yeah. Wow, we so you, statistics. So you're a lot of minority now. It used to be 11. That's now it's recessive 18. trait. Why are you proud of that? Dude, it could be something good. That's mm. true. I have no idea. It just means you're autistic. Dude, what do you need an earlobe for, for real? I don't know. This other, you gotta this, let me know when it's too windy. This dude. other article just says less than 30%. So I think you're a lot less Miles, rare than you think. To ask, uh, ask Google... <laughs> Is there a genetic advantage of having earlobes? Uh, earlobes? 
that are not connected. Do you think it like? Wait, wait, wait! Why, look why at Miles. You, gotta, you, you probably you probably don't have you probably don't have pick up five G with those things, do you? <laughs> if you look at my earlobe, right? It comes down and up, right? And yours also does it, but Miles's doesn't come up. It's just straight uh, at the bottom. Uh, He's got semi attached. He still has it. Yo, you're like a half breed. Let me break out my pocket mirror. Oh, wait. <laughs> it can't, it was, I was all self conscious now. Yeah, Miles is zooming in the camera. Like, He's like, Is this real? Yeah. Yo, I'm one of the <laughs> Yo, welcome to my world. Yeah, but, Dude, yeah. you have a small oh, you have no. a small amount of dangle. Yeah, you do have some dangle. That thing can make it. That no. thing's flapping. I'll, I'll hang a so weight on it. That day. thing is flapping in the Miles, wind. Welcome dude. to my world. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, do you how how what do you pick up? How many channels with those things? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude. So there's actually a myth around earlobes. I just oh, want wow, you guys to know. This is a conspiracy. Yeah. This is a conspiracy. So a lot of people think that there's just two categories. Oh wow. Which is attached and so are you trying to tell attached? me you're an in betweener? Miles is an in betweener. So it's known as free. Miles is trying to preach body positivity. Free. Uh, and and that there's a single gene that controls the trait, but in fact, uh, it's not true. Neither thing is true. So there's actually a huge variation of attached and free AKA earlobes. Conspiracy. <laughs> and it's controlled by a lot of different things in your genes. I used to pull all my earlobes when I was a kid. Yeah, we know. <laughs> no, don't act like it's common knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. And this is, uh, <laughs> they figured this out by the, um, what was it, the Sunrise study that you talked about earlier? Oh, shit. Is this coming full circle? Dude. Yeah. So Wait, did they really? Is that they really took thing? children. This was in Britain. God damn it. God, they oh, took full no. circle. There this is go. a conspiracy within itself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh okay, <laughs> you had me going. Yeah, yeah you, dude, I actually thought this is some yo, fucked up shit. I was going like, here. yo, what are the chances? But yeah. that's I, pretty crazy. I got some solid pictures of some earlobes. I'm about okay, to show yeah, you yeah, guys. yeah, blow them up. Oh shit! All right, you let's know, see if we can identify who has you know, what. Ears are kind of gross looking. Yeah, they are pretty gross. Really? Like when you just do you think all the all folds right, so up here this actually is Zach matter? Right here on the bottom right. <laughs> hey, make that shit bigger. We can't see that. Hey, you Dobby looking motherfucker. Oh, that's a beautiful ear. Dude, that looks like that looks weird, dog. That's a beautiful ear. Dude, that just looks like <laughs> this one. That looks. You know what that looks like? Is if like they it grew like it after the fact. <laughs> like it kind of, you know, like you yeah. got yours. Like that, they grew it on a mouse and they had to stitch it from Bill Gates' farm field. <laughs> yeah, they find. I think that this one you. up here, not the top left, but next to the top left, is Logan. <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, that you, is you got some. Fuck, you got some flappers on that. You that can, thing. Oh, I can tell exactly the mile per hour of the wind. Dude, you're getting Disney Plus with those things. Hell yeah, dude. I feel like this one all the way top left is Chase. Yeah, appropriate. Probably. Normal. Yeah. Actually. Uh, <laughs> whoa, I don't know about that. Beautiful. Yo, you got you got some interesting like 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 ratio like of, of upper lobe to lower lobe of the ear. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. Thing. I feel yeah, like one of the that. top two right are me. Wow. Did yeah. you just say top two? I'm top two. I will, I will say all of us have pretty pretty normal size looking ears. Like there's no like so this is you know, you crazy. Think this is a true thing. You ever notice how like people older people like a lot yeah. of them have big ass ears. Yeah, man. Like is that a genetic trait that the ears grow as the hearing goes bad? Hmm. I think that's an Italian thing. No, it's definitely not. I think it might be a Polish thing too. Yeah. Polish. But but, but hear me out. Though. with that. Why is it? Gravity. I don't, I don't walk around seeing young people with big ears. Gravity. You ever think about that? Gravity, dude. I have seen some big old flappers on some oldies. Gravity, they've been around longer. Dude, Gravity those, pulling on them. Some are like, you're, you're looking at it and you're like, dude, that is Dumbo. No, but think of it. Next time you see one of those guys, can I just say, can I see a picture of you when you're younger? I mean, dude, just for science. Okay, and then get flappers. a picture with him. Yeah. Certify it. Then have him sign it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I've seen, you, you, you know those people where they, like, it, like the ears kind of like stick out they're like, kind yeah, of like yeah. perpendicular i feel like i feel like that's an advantage though to hear what's in front of you but maybe not mm. from the side you know no, no, let's true. test it can you say i mean when you turn your ears like this you you can actually kind of notice a little difference no, it's not, it's a, a little bit yeah well i'm saying to the side it's a disadvantage sometimes no, if i want to hear more clearly advantage. yeah that's what i'm saying so but but if you turn them forward you can hear better no. forward you're not even looking at me, dude. You were like, close, don't close the ears no, up like I that. Hear it's just kind of give them a little, yeah. a little, a little angle. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. I don't know. I think you guys need to fight this out. I, I we can duke it out tomorrow on the slopes. All right, word. We should measure Miles' ears now. Why? 
And then about 30 years I thought we were done with this. We should see if they grow. I feel like I'm going to live longer than you. And so. Why do you feel this way? No, if you'll I'm be not around. The one that wakes up every day with like, like throat issues. Whoa. Whoa, dude. You just, I had Did you just issues. out him? <laughs> you just <laughs> you exposed just, me. You just uh, out him? No, dude. Just because yeah. I like the deep throat stuff doesn't yeah. mean hey, that. At least I still have I'm my the one appendix, that can bro. My curry, my friend. Yeah, at least I still have my appendix. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> weak, man, now. I'm just lighter now. <laughs> You're just lighter. <laughs> Oh, look just, at me. I almost hey, how died. Much, how much does the appendix weigh? Probably not a lot. Not that right? big. She's, so. she's worth a good 60000 Did you get to keep it? 60000 Did they give it to you? 60000 I sure hope you got what it mean back. mean 60000 That's how much it costs to have that thing removed. I have heard that really? it's less, actually. Yeah. I don't mm. know who the fuck. It was like Bill Gates down there operating on you? No, dude. Okay. 60000 So. Man, like, I'll pay by Medicaid. Think that you're going to live longer than me? Oh, because I have an appendix. It's just no. Oh, shit. Yeah. People, people with an appendix have an average lifespan of uh, 65. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> That's not yeah, good. don't scare them. It's like the tolls. You good. looked this stat up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> were, you, were, you, dude, were, were you worried for me? <laughs> nah, he was hoping it would go down. <laughs> he was mad at you one day. He's like, that non-appendix motherfucker. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any correlation. I mean, to listen, yeah, I will say kidding. three of us have not there. crashed a motorcycle before, and one of us have. Oh, and I'm still alive. <laughs> barely. <laughs> Dude, you're barely holding on. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Yo, has he shown you the picture of his shin when he hit it with a hammer? Uh, no. <laughs> Dude, you got to show him that. Guys, they have shown for the first time that the presence of an appendix is correlated with an increase in the maximum longevity observed for a species. Does that mean from... Oh, from shit. Part? We're going to live longer part? than you, no, dog. Is that, is that like you're born with one or without one? Does Compared to mammals of the same weight without an appendix. Oh, I'm good. I was born with it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have it anymore. Yeah, but I was born with it. Which you're means you're I, a I'm mammal a, without it. But I was a mammal with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be crazy if our bodies like regrew it Whoa. after it was taken out? It was like, nah, dog, you're getting one. It's like, like it's, it's like, like a fingernail. Yeah, or like a like a, a lizard's tail always growing back. You know. Yeah. I mean, that would be pretty cool. What would you want to grow back? So <laughs> what, what, okay, <laughs> hold on. Oh, or grow longer. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is it like hair? If does you keep it, shaving, it grows does it, longer. Does it does it come back bigger? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. If 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 one day the Who was like, we have discovered that no. if you do, if you do uh, cut your dick off, it will grow back and it will grow back slightly larger. How many dudes are so next day good. chopping there will their dicks be. off? Dude, everybody be cutting it off. Hundred <laughs> percent. There's gonna be people. No, going. Not me. He's going to the wow, doctor. You're that confident? No, I don't want that pain. <laughs> I, I can see a, a guy going to the doctor. He's like, okay, so. But what if it was painless? Oh, like a lizard. Yeah. You know, no, they do some local. You can just drop it off, right? Yeah, you can drop it. <laughs> when you get scared, how long does it take to grow back, though? Because I need. Oh, dude, that's true. Yeah, no, right. It's not Yo, wait, wait. Days, right? What if? What if? Okay, think smaller right, scale. What about two months. Okay, Ooh. how about this? <laughs> how about, what about just that? just just minimizing it to foreskin? Like, if you want it back, take no. It to how about yeah? <laughs> why are we bringing up foreskin? <laughs> wow. Okay, oh it takes God. seven years, but it'll grow back bigger. Would you do it? No, 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 no. Seven days, no. Take an inch off. Yeah, seven I, days? I need seven minutes. You have to wait seven years. All I would right. just say take an inch off. Seven hours. Have to deal Miles, with why'd you go seven years? Yeah, that's that's just like a... Uh, dude, that's I'm, a life sentence. Start with a year. A start sentence. with a year? Yeah. No, I'm going down. That's okay, a life sentence. five years. No, that's a life sentence. No. Two years. I wouldn't even do it in a year. No. I wouldn't... I wouldn't like a good I, dude, I'm, I'm just... I'm saying like... I'm good for a good few months. A few weeks. A few weeks would be the most... I guess the answer to about question depends on how big your dick is, right? <laughs> yeah, like oh. you have a small deck. You're like seven years doesn't seem that bad. I had an any, but I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, but here's lasers. the thing: you can I use like it. Went from ears to this. You can <laughs> use it in the seven years. How do you get? It's just oh no, oh, because it's slowly getting. It's growing it? back. It's just slowly well, getting it's larger. Like Deadpool, where he has the little hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. He's like, he's like having sex. He's like, I, I'm, I'm in stage two of seven. So don't, don't judge me. This is scary. Don't this judge. Is, this is scaring me. <laughs> you have to By the way, guys, Axelsnaples.com. <laughs>
<laughs> That's our sponsor for today. Yeah. If you're ever oh, in shit. Naples, Florida, and you have the need to purchase need or sell a house, Zach will give you a 25% off discount. If you mention the dick story, <laughs> you're going to hear that. Dude. Use uh, code at the lucky duck, and you'll get a free Yeti mug. Yeah. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeti mugs are hard to come by. Get a free Yeti mug. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get only if you buy it for yourself. Oh, yeah, dude. You're the one buying it for people. Yeah, you're the sponsor. Yeah, you're the sponsor. You're the one paying us ten thousand dollars for this episode. Yeah, that's why you're here. That's true. Yeah. Feels like a really good spot to end this on. Probably. Because I don't think we can top top the dicks. I don't. So. I don't think. I think it's pretty. That pretty was the clip. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> thanks for listening. On your favorite podcast app go ahead and give us a five-star rating because we know we're we're worth it we're worth it um if you want to keep up with miles and sarah adventuring eyes on instagram venturing eyes.com guys be safe out there and we'll see you next time bye have a beautiful time bye.